get more people telling me about Tough Crowd now because they watch it and they say that they can't believe what a me- like how messy it was and that they just kept putting. Well, it, on it was TV. a free for all. I, I did it maybe about five times, and uh, when you, when you bombed with a joke, there, you know, they kept it in and. And it really was. You felt alone. <laughs> and you felt alone in the universe. And it would make Bushetti, uh, did you ever do that show? Uh, no. Mike Bushetti's uh, here. Is there a microphone we could give him or no? Sue was, I, I felt bad for Sue. I watched the episode that night. Mike, no one's hearing what you said. <laughs> Mike's in a full blown conversation room. Sue was totally a peacemaker that night. I, she she tried to squash it right away. I, I swear to God. You remember the show? Yeah, I remember the, I remember that episode because I think, uh, what do you call it? What ha- I think that. Uh, Dennis was breaking it, uh, Greg's balls about it. He goes, you're prepared. What do you have, your notebook? I think he said something like that. And then Dennis, was, and then it just escalated. Now, like, were you Whoa. watching this naked on your belly? <laughs> no, I was like, I wanted to see some I blood. Found, on- we found that on the old DirecTV show that, uh, that Mike in his attic of the a home he uh, lives in with his mother <laughs> at the age of 53. Uh, he, he gets naked and watches TV on his belly while he's eating food. Like, so a, do pale, I. like a pale walrus. But it's, it's, well, it sounds like a very, very uncomfortable way to eat. <laughs> I stopped eating like that now, really. Now that I can, I can, my body changed, I can, you know, see per, certain parts of my body I could never see before. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Well, I was going to ask you, where do you put your penis when you do that? Oh, well, there's only one place to put it. That's in the ground. That's in the floor. What do you got, tuck it under? You, you got stuck, stuck in the mattress. But that's the thing. He's saying the penis doesn't reach the floor because his gut's so big. Oh, oh so he's like, so a, he's kind of like a, one of those dinosaurs like a, trying to do chaturanga. Like, like a weeble. Yeah. Oh. You get a but, uh, stick rash. Yeah, I think you would have been good on that show, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, I love. I loved watching it. It was a great show. Oh. And Nick used to be on all the time, right? Oh, Mike, yeah. yeah, Nick was a regular. Nick would be a, vicious. Nick would just attack you and never stop. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a fun show. It was a fun show. To I was on about five years. It lasted. But uh, Mike is here to do the weather because he did the weather at the old Direct TV show, and uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. Mike wore a suit. He looks. I know. Yeah. I he came. From, the thing is, I just found out that I thought Brittany, that Tiffany, whatever her name was, hit on me. I just found out you guys. Public no one knows what you're talking about. Oh, I know, yeah. but I felt bad when this just happened. Can you tell him? I thought you knew that. No, oh. I thought it was my magic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the old direct, the old direct TV, the old direct TV show. We used to put Mike out in two oh. degree weather to do uh, weather reports, and uh, the, the producers set up a hot blonde walking by and uh, telling Mike she loved him and, and hit on him, and uh, and then you know Mike. You know, called her over. She came over, and they hugged. And then Mike thinks he convinced her to come up to the show. <laughs> and she came up to the show, and she sat there, and she was sat next to Mike. And Mike, you know, Mike was trying to kiss her, and it was really creepy. I mean, you moved in, you moved in too quickly. On I know Mike. that's the problem. I mean, yeah, you know, you knew a girl for like maybe two minutes. You're trying to kiss her. Why? What's wrong with that? But because <laughs> it's very disconcerting. He figured if he kissed her fast and she really liked it, she would overlook the fact that he he eats on his belly. Well, I will tell you, you really you well. really come up with these good explanations. No, but not. But then, <laughs> but Leah uh, Gibson put show my picture on TV. She was hot. I wish I had. She's like, no, she doesn't like you, Mike. She didn't like you. I mean, was Mike wearing that same suit? <laughs> she didn't like any of us, Mike. But anyway, for all these years, I thought you knew that was a plan. No. No. And I then just it... today he came in and I said, oh, that was a plan. And now I feel bad. Well, actually, you should know that. You should. You got to know the score in life. No, I but, wish I had that on video. No, because I, never, I don't know the score. I think, you know, the minute I seen him, like, you know, to the me. The video cor- of it exists somewhere. Oh, yeah. No, to, no oh, of, to you me. Too, of you telling him that it was set up. He oh, oh, this, yeah. To ground. me, but a coffee date means I'm in to me. <laughs> <laughs> But there was a still photograph that existed of Mike trying to pull her forward into his realm, oh, into oh, his God. vortex, <laughs> yeah. and her like really, really fighting it. Yeah, no, it was really, like you know, yeah, like, yeah. Hold like on, manhunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike's gonna do some. Do you have any preliminary weather you want to uh, hit? Us uh, with? right now the weather's stable. The weather. <laughs> the, the weather's stable. You have no idea. <laughs> the weather's stable. That was fantastic. That's all you have. <laughs> Uh, actually, well, you're no Greg Giraldo. I have one no, question for no, me. but uh, actually, the weather right now in New York City is kind of it's cold but brisk. Well, that's the same thing. Uh, it depends because it, it looks like it's sunny outside, but it's freezing as all. Well, hell. that's what you should have said. You said it's cold but brisk. You know, you know the kind of tingly weather where you, you know. I don't you know. said it's cold but kind of cold. <laughs> cold but slightly cold. Well, I thought you'd be more prepared for this. Uh, I am. When, when, once a minute, Dan puts me, goes, you're on, baby. I'm ready. 
All right. Well, you're on. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, right now in Nevada, it looks very nice. The weather looks. Oh, no, wait. That's not Nevada. Wait a minute. Uh, Hold on a <laughs> Take your time, Mike. Wait, Take okay. Your time. Oh yes. Uh, from here, I can see an Indian-looking fellow with a. Oh no, no. Uh, Native American guy. Okay, <laughs> just right. Don't offend anybody. No, right. I'm not. I love Native already people. Offend, yeah, but you said Indian-looking fella. We no, love Indian-looking all fella is like what a racist sort of cop. <laughs> no, he look. Him. He looks either Lakota or Comanche. I'm not really sure. Jesus, but I mean, so, but you know, they're not Indians anymore. They're Native Americans. Yeah, but they they were the best people. They were the best. Yeah. <sighs> what happened to them? The, the URL's the devastated there. them. So go ahead. What else? Okay, right. And by Texas, it looks very warm. It's probably about 85 degrees down in Austin right now. Um, let me I, get up. I, oh, I trust this weather. Uh, did you prepare any weather, weather jokes like you used to? No. Oh, okay. I, 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 I'm so sorry. Well, uh, I used to prepare a weather joke. Yeah, I, I, I will. Uh, I'm just... Watch your wire there, Mike. It's okay. You're going to trip over. According to this weather. Uh... According to the weather today, right now. That's it. I stand next to it as if okay. you're giving the weather. Oh, I need to take right a Right now up in Maine, it's 45 degrees with some snow, elm in the snow. Bring your shorts. Uh, Virginia <laughs> is 47 degrees. And racist. Right now in Ohio, it's uh, 27 degrees with, with some snow. <laughs> and tons of white Wyoming, <laughs> it warmed up a little bit. It's about 73 degrees. It's 73 in Wyoming. Yeah, That's, news. Nice. That's news. That's news. Yeah, it's, it, they broke records That's over there. That's weather news. Uh, in Oregon, I think I said it right, right? Oregon. <laughs> yeah, Oregon. Yeah, yeah. It's 84 degrees and uh, with slight chill. Uh, 84 degrees with some slight temperatures. Sl oh, yeah. With yeah. some slight. <laughs> fuck! With some slight temperatures? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 84 it, degrees yes. with some slight temperatures? It's 84 <laughs> degrees with a possible chance of. Of some hell. <laughs> How do you know that? You're making that up. <laughs> no, no, it's sure. They haven't Wait, held a hot chick who says she's attracted to you. <laughs> she was hot on. I thought I had was in the bag. Complete like, actress. No, but I was like, baby, I got this. Matter of fact, we had to give her hazard pay. I <laughs> no, but on, I, I thought I had. I was in the door. No, you were nowhere near the door. Am I allowed to put this up as a teaser or yeah, no? Yeah, sure. Oh, Hawaii? Yes, I'm The door didn't up. even exist, as a matter of fact. No, but uh, the minute she came over to me, I was like... The door was locked. <sighs> Dan, I thought I was in. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's right. I was going to go to Super Bowl. I thought I had a Super Bowl date with her. <sighs> well, you weren't even invited to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Boy, she, that, was, that was sad. She invited me to, this, to the thing. I'm like, Really? Well, you came to New Orleans, right? That was that was mind blowing. And then what some you, New Orleans chicks are awesome. Some chick hugged me. I'm like, this is great. I'm gonna get you know get laid here. Did she throw up on you? No, no. <laughs> That's what I noticed. A lot of chicks were throwing up on me. <laughs> no, but uh, you were the king down there. You could have well, had any woman in America. Moment. And you still can have any woman in America. Let's calm down. I was I, my, my fiance was. Let's calm down. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but uh, you could, you could have any woman in America. You got to calm Adam. down. Sorry. <laughs> What's it like in Oregon? Oregon right now is 84 <laughs> degrees with some hell. With a chance of weather? With a chance of uh, of getting, uh, chance, chance of, oh, fuck. Use your words, Mike. Use your yes. words. I'm sorry, Chris. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> let's go to Tennessee. Right now, they're having a good moonshine festival right now. What do you call it? Is that a joke? Sponsored by, what do you call it? That was a Clun joke. That uh, was a spontaneous, they're not having a moonshine festival. That, in fact, oh. is a joke, a witty remark on your part. Oh, thanks. Because right, Mississippi right now is... Uh, Flipping Google moonshine. I like Mississippi. They got some good mud pie there. It's a pretty cool place. Uh, How do you know that? I've been there. I, I went there like for... I went from New York to California as a kid. For mud pie? Yeah, it's when good. When you were 12 years old, <laughs> is this the trip you took with your creepy uncle? Mrs. No, he's in the creep. He's a good guy. He, you know. Your uncle and your you know, creepy. It was you and your uncle in a van. No, my cousin was with us. To... My, my, uh, his, his wife was with us. It was fun. And how many runaways did you pick up? No, it's just in the early 70s. It was dangerous. Well, what so they were no kidding. They were called hitchhikers. Right? Yeah. <laughs> early 70s. I figured that. Uh, right in Kansas now, they just erected a statue of Frank and Jesse James after 150 years. How do you know that? <laughs> Is that a joke too? I they uh, I think they did. They love him, Art. Uh, I want to prove Jesse James innocent. Did one they, day. in fact, innocent of what? Uh, he was pushed around by the gut. You don't think Jesse James ever committed a crime? Is that your new uh, him and Al Capone? No, well, Capone did some stuff that wasn't really cool to people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he made a couple mistakes. But he's your hero. Uh, well, I like his motivation. Where did you get that suit? <laughs> I have questions about that suit. Uh, when I get this, a a I got the size of that jacket. No, but it, look, <laughs> oh, God, oh God. 
No, but it was a fat guy suit. I, I'm, I'm, you know. No, but you're barely fitting it now. No, but it, you know, it, I, no, it. I don't know what happened. How much uh, weight did you? You've gained some weight back, Mike. No, I doubt yes, it. Yes, you have. Oh yeah. No, not at all. Guys. Mike, you've gained weight back, Mike. He does not look fifty-three, no. though. Seriously. He looks seventy-two. <laughs> no. Look at this guy's. <laughs> the lip balls on that suit are fifty-three. Mike, you gain weight back. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Also, you're one of these guys. When you get thin, your man tits get very, 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 like you know. I don't know. Elongated? Prominent. <laughs> don't hate. No, they're, they're not. prominent. Don't hate. You got to get your man tits sucked out. No, no. I'm I'm buff under this guy. You have I'll cleavage. You. No, no cleavage. I got, I got you know. A, how much a, I, How much did you lose weight-wise? About 50 pounds? I don't I don't go by, my trainer goes by inches. I think you put back 30 pounds. No, I didn't put anything back. I'm good. I'm yes, you did, Mike. I don't think so. I, Dan, own, what do you think? I think he's put weight back. Really? No, you guys the like... Picture, for the pictures over the summer, I mean, towards the fall, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you were looking good for a while. And the thing is, have... when you're thinner, your your marine haircut works when you're thinner. But now oh, your face looks like a globe. Well, Mike shows no. up and finds out that oh, the girl didn't like him. He's your face, gaining weight. Your face looks like the earth if it had an acne problem. No, he looks cute. Yeah, but right? I can get any woman I want, I think. No problem. Nobody's out of my league. Well, that's clearly, think. clearly been proven by you. 53 years of virginity. Have you, you have you had a girlfriend, Mike, ever? What? What? So I'm sorry. Have you ever had a girlfriend? <laughs> well, I, I had. I was banging my friend's sister when we were young. You know what I mean? On and off for 10 Too years. Too much. Happy. <laughs> what? what, what? <laughs> but how long ago was that? That was a while ago. Well, she was still in high school. I was like 21. But if you chose... Well, oh, oh, Shane, you're not a freshman, if so you don't worry. So you committed statutory rape? No, no, no. But there's Off not, the record. Listen, it's been more than seven years. Right? <laughs> I don't know what. I just lost track of it because, you know. No, but but if you, in fact, believe that, and I, I, I'm I proud of you for believing it. If you believe you could have any woman in the country, why, well, are, you, why are you not executing that? Why are you not doing it? There's the cash flow that I need to get going, too. That's why. <laughs> why cash? What do you need to do with the cash? You, you mean you got to take dinner? them to dinner and stuff? Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I want to treat them great. I mean, you know, they should be. Yeah, but like, like you oh. bought the twins' watches. Yeah, that's what he needs the cash for, dinner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you bet. <laughs> No, but I talked to Marie recently off by, t by email. And what did she say? Did she, did she sell your watch that you saw? No, gave no. Her? I, I always told you how to crush it, how you know what it We knew it, one. Mike. Everyone knew How'd it. How'd you know, though? Because you were blatantly obvious about it. What do you, you mean? My face them, lit up? You bought her a watch. Well, I had to buy both of them. It was so creepy. No, Where did you get the money to buy watches? No, throw, I was making money back then. No, but the throw, what do you call it? Liz off the track. You know what I mean? That's yeah, Liz was broken hearted. I want more questions about this uh, young lady in high school. I believe me. So do the police. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so, but when you realized that she could, did not care about you, as I told you, was that heartbreaking for you? No, because there's a lot of skanks out there. They don't oh, do anything, hey. you know what I mean? Because Well, get one of them. Yeah, they're out there. Just got to say the right thing to them, you know what I mean? I don't, well, I, saying calling them skanks. Tell them the weather is not working for you. So. No, don't hate. You know, you, they're, they're out there. Believe me. Just walk up to a chick and go, it's 84 in Oregon. It's 84 in Oregon right now. And there's a chance of hail. In Arizona, it's actually 77 degrees in Scottsdale. That sounds nice. Uh, Scottsdale's by the mountains. Well, yeah, sure. All of Arizona is. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> right now in Arkansas, it's 45 degrees. Ooh. Do you know what, what did Tennessee? The Tennessee, same, it's a little, the same thing, Arkansas. No, ten, Tennessee, the temperature just went up a couple That's degrees. That's a weather joke. What did Tennessee? The same thing, Arkansas. Oh, God, I just got He's that. too nervous to hear that. What is Delaware? <laughs> a New Jersey. Delaware, some hot pants. <laughs> now you've ruined the joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm saying you can add these jokes to the weather report. I, I, I am. I promise. I, I promise I'll be prepared. Your jacket's all I, wrinkled now. Right? I know. I, I, I fell asleep on it. What is wrong with the break. lapel on that jacket? <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, he's torturing you like uh, Larry right, okay. tortured Geraldo. Just breathe. No, you're doing I, a good job. I, I, it's I, like I, a scarf on one side and a jacket yeah, on the Mike, other. Okay, it James. Looks like really a scarf. <laughs> Dan, can I have a James? I, wanted, I definitely want to have him. He loves Mike, to bother Dan. Your, because... Put the microphone in your other hand and let that lapel go down. You see what I mean? Yeah, you got you to gotta straighten up, Mike. Right? Chaps! I'm so Wait, nervous. Who made that Chaps? I'm so nervous. What's the name of the company, Chaps? I think I don't know. My mom picked this out. I don't know. Is that one of those chap suits? <laughs> I, know, I don't go shopping really. Chaps with suits of me. It's so moist. The suit's name is Chaps. Mike, I think you look great. Keep Thank going. You, You're sir. doing a great job. Thank you. 
You know, that's the thing. Women always have good things to say about what well, guys always like the rag. Well, then, and you say skanks. You call them skanks. Well, I'm only kidding. I really, I, I love women more than anything. I, I, I sense the pure, genuine anger there. When you no, know. but I thought that Bethany, that's her name. See, I remember it. Yeah, but there's a girl before Bethany that was from, like, I forgot where she was from. She was a cutie from upstate. I started talking to her. When? Like about a week before, I thought I was magic on the street. You know, that's what happened. But uh, I want to know what happens. You go too fast. Is that what happens, Mike? And you might scare them off. Yeah, you know what? Artie's right. I was all over just hanging on her. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Yeah, within five minutes of knowing her. Because he gets very excited. when you get. It's like having somebody poor and you're giving them a lot of money. Well, we, to, we told her if she was in trouble to blink her eyes a couple of times. <laughs> she kept blinking like a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> no soup for you. She looked like she had a twitch. No, she did. And I was, she was like twitching like, like she had friggin' uh, Tourette's. You've never made a move on me, Mike. No, Sue, because you know why? I, I definitely would, but I mean... <laughs> oh, he's in a corner now. Oh, you're trying to apologize no, I to her? I, no, I did. I did. I said something about Sue on Brewer's show one time. Why would you know something Sue? About, What's wrong with Sue? I, oh, I think Pete said, how would it make out session with Sue? But I go... I, could, I would live with that <laughs> or something like that, right? Oh, that's very funny. Jesus Christ. I think she was a very fetching young lady. No, I did. I said you I would, said I would I go could for live that. with that? I said I would go what for that. What woman wants to hear that? You're in your good suit jacket could, now. You should no, probably talk, try to talk to I Sue could, today. I would live with that, meaning, oh, yes. I would live with that. <laughs> meaning, if I could, uh, I'll take it. We would have to stop the lying on the belly eating yeah, the dinner well, well, right well, away. Looking that's at not a, good. We're looking no. at a picture of you uh, about eight months ago. You're much thinner there. Well, I've been training. I still work out all the time. With who? With Irene, right? Yeah, I've been yeah, well, I've been working out on my own. But yeah, I mean, yeah, but you know, I'm saying you put some weight back. What have you been doing differently? Uh, she was more intense. I still work out, but it's it's harder when when you got a trainer. It's even more intense. Yeah. Well, why'd you stop the trainer? Because he lost the job. Yeah. Well, I thought she was doing it for free. <gasps> Nothing's for free. He called her a scam. No, Tell us the no truth. that's <laughs> what happens. None of these broads. Nothing's for no, free. No, but she helped right? get me healthy. That's the important thing. I don't care about that. And you know you're spinning I mean? that in, uh, back in her face. No, I love Irene. She's a great person, a great friend, a great trainer. <laughs> All right, now what, what's the weather like in uh, Kansas? Kansas, actually, right now, it's 54 degrees in Kansas. Is it brisk yet cold? It's brisk. With some sunshine factor. <laughs> some sunshine factor. Oh, well, that's nice. Well, that's what it is here. It's sunshine, but brisk. Right. It looks like it looks beautiful, but it's cold as all hell. It's a little I mean, nipply. Cold as heck. Well, it's not cold as all hell. Well, you could say fuck in anything here. Okay, thanks. You said fuck three times. I'm more than once, I know. And then you say cold as all heck. Oh, here's North Dakota. I'm so sorry. That's okay. North Dakota. That's where uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Battle of Little Bighorn was. How do you know and that? Or, or close to Montana. You're Wait, very now, knowledgeable. No, yeah. between Montana, I think it was Montana. Montana? Uh, between, uh, first of all, Custard, Custard was an idiot. Custard? <laughs> now over the mic for the weather No, he was an idiot, up because first of all, he's a moron, because number one. Well, his name wasn't Custard. He went up, he was very arrogant. He went, very up, delicious there, he went up there thinking he was going to fight people who were primitive people. Primitor? Primitor, but those people were awesome warriors. <laughs> remember, awesome when, remember when Custard fought the Primitor people? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he thought he was going to He made a mistake. He made a classic mistake. He underestimated his enemy. And I loved it. That's what happens. I think I may have Native American blood, I swear to God. And you underestimated your enemy, of course, being your barber. <laughs> no, but not. I, I could be, because I swear to God, I've had, like, experiences with them. With who? Like, with spirits and stuff like that. I swear oh, to God. Oh, how, how do we get here? Explain yourself. Okay. About 12 years ago, I was doing a show. Well, I let him talk. This is going to be Up great. in Stanford, right? I was doing, doing a stand-up show in Stanford. No, no, this is a film we were doing in Stanford, Connecticut, right? A movie. And I was laying in the room, right? All You're of a doing sudden, a film for who? Oh, the movie Chooch. The movie Chooch. Go ahead. No, but so we were sitting there. I was sitting in my bed, right? All of a sudden, I In your hotel? In, in their, their I uncle's assume house. Chooch, I assume Chooch got your Rich Carlton suite. No, no, but at, uh, what happened was... Uh, You're in their uncle's house. I'm just sitting by myself, right? You're in the director's uncle's house? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the man who directed Chooch uh, put you up in his uncle's house. Yeah, yeah. Big bunch of stuff. And you know, where Maine this was? No, uh, Stanford, Connecticut. Stanford, Connecticut. Yeah. Right. So I'm up there. I start having this weird feeling, right? And I feel people around me like spirit like you, could, you know when you when you sometimes when people pray they say they feel god in the room now right? at the time were you wearing your sleep apnea no mask? no <laughs> okay but i felt this the spirit people around me right but they were they were sad but not at me right you know they weren't angry they weren't me. sad they were people sad they were sad, sad at people no they but they let four people i felt that sadness right so a couple of days did later, you see them physically no, but I felt them, and I said you to somebody. Felt spirits around. And I said, I said to somebody, "What do Native American people live lived up here?" He goes, "Absolutely." Then I did a gig a couple of years later. Well, they lived at, everywhere. They lived. Up, no, no. Hoboken's named after no, an Indian. No, but not. But then I had another experience. Another one. When I was Nick uh, up at uh, 
When you were what? With Nick up in a... Uh, Nick DiPaolo. Up in a... Uh, Mohegan Sun. Mohegan Sun, which is named right. after Indian. I was sitting there. I felt a spirit. This time it was like a... Like a someone really pet, like a medicine. Could man. that have been a slot machine? No, but they weren't mad. And I said that the people who are Native American. I said, first of all, can I ask you must have question? some blood. How you did know you know why, it was a medicine? They don't man. open up to white people. Wait, what did you say? Say it again, Mike. Somebody I noticed a Native American told me you might because you know why he's like, they wouldn't show their sadness to white people. You must have some kind of blood. They wouldn't the show. White. That's true of black hookers as well. No, they wouldn't that? show their sadness to white, white people. He goes, they would not at all. Why is that? They devastated. Because it looks like a weakness. No, they just hate them for what they did. Well, it looks like a weakness. It looks like we're sad because of what you did to us, and they want to seem stronger. I know. I found that Columbus was a bloody pirate recently. Well, Columbus was a bloody pirate. I know. I always thought he was a hero in school. I was like, Chris is cool. Yeah. Well, Mike, I hate to break this. Every Italian guy wasn't great. I know. He's finding out a lot of realities. Yeah. I feel bad. Mike, how'd you know it was a medicine man? I just felt the spirit, the much strongest person. You could feel it. What medicine did he give you? Uh, <laughs> no, but I'd hope that I am because I really that would be awesome. I love the I love the culture because it would be so cool. So that's the experience you had in Stanford, Connecticut, and and I, up I in uh, the other place. I, well, I knew there was it. a reason there was a special quality to chooch. <laughs> <laughs> do you, no, but when uh, you go in the bar, but you yeah, but say, how, I want to look like someone who makes yeah, suicide. Uh, when, 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 every time I watch the what do you call it? Uh, Dances with Wolves, right? I felt so related to that movie, and I love when they fuck, when they when they when they you, killed all those white guys. You're from you're from Staten Island. No, but I was like when they, when they killed those plaguing white guys. I was like, good, scalp that fucking idiot. You grew up Jesus in an Italian Christ ghetto, ghetto in Staten you know? Island, and you you relate to Dances with Wolves. I love that movie. Yeah. What about Mucho with Peppers? <laughs> no, because I love it. Because first of all, <laughs> it, it was one movie where they'd make people savages and killing people. Where they showed their culture. You know what I mean? You learned about them at least. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, they were, it was... Uh, it was the Costa did great. I that's love that why movie. he won the Academy Award, the political correctness of not was, showing the savagery. It was awesome, though, uh, because you got to know them. So you're saying you you are, you are relate to the plight of the Native Americans. So did Marlon Brando. Do you well, know I'm well, 25% Native American? It was proven on the Stern Show. Which is awesome. Yeah. Did you get I, free college? Are you Apache? Free guy should. I don't know what I am. That's the problem. I can't prove the tribe. Otherwise, I'd get gambling money. You got to I would. I'd get casino money. And I just want the fucking money I lost. I don't even have <laughs> <laughs> No, but you, you got to prove it. So you, All you need is to prove you're one sixteenth Native American. And then you can get money. I'm supposedly 25%. That's and I know nothing about my old man's family, so it could be true. You should take, I'm telling you, you should research it. You could be, that's, I tried. Me and my sister hired a lawyer because she got checked too. And sure enough, she was like... They could tell them a lot of Native American. That's awesome. I love that. Co- oh, shit, it was what about me. that I, show? I, There's a show on TV that they trace your heritage. No, they wouldn't heritage. take us because they couldn't trace anything. Oh. So if I prove the tribe, if you help me with this, Mike, can you call these spirits? You yes, know? I was going to say. I was, you know, I, would, I would bring back Cochise. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm saying now you're joking about them. And I'm sure, no, no, I'm not joking. I'm sure they feel betrayed by you. Maybe we can they're bring sad. back Geronimo. <laughs> I feel there's sadness now. <laughs> And I'm saying, why are you sad? They said, Boschetti. Boschetti betray us. <laughs> Boschetti betray me and family. No, but the thing is, what they, did, they didn't think we they smoke owned... We smoke them peace pipe with Boschetti. They didn't think they owned... They weren't greedy people. They loved the land. They didn't think they owned anything. Boschetti takes shit in my teepee. <laughs> it was disgusting on the set of Chooch. <laughs> we had to visit him to say, stop shitting in teepee. We offer him lots of wampum for this. Wampum was what that beads was. It was pretty beautiful stuff. It was their money. Yeah, they were very creative. Very. Now what's creative. going on in Rhode Island? In Rhode Island right now, <laughs> what do you call it? The temperature is forty-two degrees in Rhode Island. Is it brisk? It's no. It's kind of. It would, uh, it would have to be. Brisk. It's palatable, but brisk. Palatable. It's palatable. Have you ever played uh, Rhode Island? And we were visited by any spirits? Up no, there? I love. I've been up there for visits to Rhode. I like it up there. Is it true the only spirits you were actually visited by were from a liquor store? No, 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 no. I was in uh, Nantucket. Is a cool place. I love it up there. Oh, what about Nantucket? I feel. It, I felt like I was in a witness protection program up there. It's weird. Well, what about the rich families? Do they get upset when they see you? No, I did great up there comedy wise. They're nice people up there. Where did you do comedy there? So, a bar called the Rose and Crown, I think. No, that's Mouth's Vineyard. Who told you this? The spirits? No, I was up to. You've never been I think to Nantucket. It's my- I've been to Nantucket <laughs> twice. Are you sure? Mike, I think- <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. You've never been I to Nantucket twice. Nantucket. Admit it here. Admit it here. No, I sold the fucking idiot that I worked with. Had I'm not going to mention names about managers, agents, because <laughs> some James stop it. You fucking. You love that. You said you wasn't going to mention his name, Mike. No, no James he's telling James. Oh, 
<laughs> what the man? I knew that manager. He treated you well. No, he's a fucking he's a fucking conniving idiot. You don't oh, really man. know him on the oh. inside. You get right. mad, Mike. The guy who drove you to work every single day. No, but you don't know the interior from people. You don't know anybody to really stay with them. You stayed with them? No, but around them, you don't know anybody to really deal with them. All business. right, all right. I don't want to start a fight here. No, it's not, no problem. No worries. He's, he's dead in my book. But, but, but Martha's Vineyard now, have you ever been there? Because I think no. that, I've been to both Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. No, it was in Nantucket. It was and nice. And you're talking about the Rose and what? The Rose had, and Crown. I, well, I think that's it. Martha's Vineyard. I do too, but I'm going to check. Well, but I had a, I had a, a, a sweatshirt of a back. I think you were really in the Bronx. <laughs> no, it was nice. It was it, all houses look like the 1600s over there. It was beautiful. Absolutely, it's gorgeous. They it's have no of, fast food places there. I could tell. <laughs> There's a lot of old money there. Tommy Hilfiger's there. Yes, that's he right. is. I've been. I go to Nantucket all the time. I love it there. Tommy Hilfiger. Now that's yeah. why. I mean, you know, it's. Uh, oh, it is in Nantucket. My bad. Sorry, I'm being a skink. Tommy Sorry, Hilf- Mike. I hear, I hear Tommy Hill. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Hilfiger <laughs> appears in a lot of poems that you hear from people from Staten Island. It was fun, man. The nice people there. Now, Who'd you go there with? Uh, the guy manager's dead oh, to him. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, he's dead to me, that douchebag. Can I beg you on the air to hire Joel back as your manager? The, pay, the pay Oh, th- he has clips from oh. me, James. Oh, James. That was a while ago. That was me asking you back. That was... Well, we won't mention that. Well, don't mention that. <laughs> don't do that to him. No, James, James loves to give me a fucking if it's a business, head red. If it's a business thing, we won't do it. No, James loves to get my head red and blow bones popping out. <laughs> the weather in the weather in uh, Santa Fe. It's not so too hard. Santa Fe, New Mexico, right now, is seventy six degrees. It's going to be eighty five by the end of the day. Probably be down to the thirties because it gets cold at night in Santa Fe. What about but Alaska? Alaska right now is about forty two degrees below zero. Why you're out of breath? breath. You're out of, he's out of breath from doing the weather. <laughs> no, I'm not out of breath. I can still. What happens? This trainer should be fired immediately. No, weather just, is hard. I'm just not. I'm clogged up on the throat. I don't know why. Is it's that to get you going about the throat? business? The business got a frog. Little. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> a frog. <laughs> he's got a get frog in tea. his throat. You should get some tea. I don't know Mike. what happened to my throat. But Did you drink any tea today, Mike? Green tea is good. Do you drink tea? Green tea by itself. Now, why did you put, be honest with us? How did you put the weight back on? I didn't put a plate back. I don't know what you guys are talking about. What did you eat yesterday and today? Give us the give us the rundown. Do you have anything in your pockets, Mike? You just look fat. No, oh, no. Oh, Mike, I love you. I'm not going to get it. No, I don't that? What is that? An air freshener? No, it's it's. Uh, Mike has an air freshener. No, in his <laughs> no he's got gum for yeah, his breath like, in case he gets lucky. Like candy. What about brushing your teeth? That might be the problem. You yeah, eat but too much no, gum candy. I, I, it, it's, I get up early. I do. I do stuff. I've been but up I mean, early. What have you day. eaten the last couple of days? I actually ate health. Ask Craig. Last night he offered me some Reese's Pieces on the way home. I said, Craig, why are you doing that, Craig? Yeah, I, I've been on candy a lot. Eager. By the way, Craig is here. Introduce Craig. Hey, well, my good friend Craig Larkin. Hey, Craig. I even ate, we, we, at the gig, I ate, I swear to God, I ate grilled, I ate cheese. T- sick. Fuck. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> He's being a lie right now. He's trying to get a good lie out. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So you're, no. you're lying, so that's why the you're The frog no. is no. taking no. over. I his ate, I, he ordered the cheese salad. grilled chicken. You see the salad, though, the dressing on that is insane. No, I had very it's light great. dressing it's on it, but the thing is, protein is the key. I've been to a lot of tuna. Have you really? <laughs> a lot of tuna. tuna. I get very hungry because I work out a lot. <laughs> Mike, I got to take you to yoga. That right. would be... That would be amazing for right? the other people in the class. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, <laughs> do you no have, fighting, do you though. You can't fight. Do you have you spandex fight. pants? You can't fight. No, no. You can wear that suit to yoga. <laughs> you that can't fight. Little, little Mike, little you can't fight in yoga. <laughs> 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 I could just see him like on yoga. You can't fight in yoga. No, but <laughs> I, I actually... Somebody wanted to sign me up for yoga once. It's kind of... I don't know. I, I did this kind of yoga where it make you cry. Mike, what about... Huh? You cry. Yoga you know, where you cry. Yes, it does make That's you cry. That's called a raping. That's no, a bit It opens up your soul and I can all see your the, Well, I can see the person in the no, but, back of you. So I was crying like a 12-year-old. <laughs> Somebody opened my chakras up. I'm Why like, were you crying? They opened up your chakras. What is a chakra? It's all your your, your um, energy things inside your body. Is that your pussy genes? <laughs> no. That's one of them. That's one of them. They opened up your vagina? No, but I kept crying. Like I couldn't stop crying. I, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Wow, I'm doing yoga. Wah. No, but the crying part got to me. <laughs> yeah. It's very well, intense, It's getting to Mike. me. It's yeah. creeping me out. No, but I'm like... I'm you like, were sitting there in spandex pants crying? No, I was crying at home after doing yoga. My friend told me. I was like, I couldn't go, you know. Now, what smells worse? Bad tuna or your yoga mat? I don't have a yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> you no. used a yoga mat? That was... You know, no, my friend taught me some... Yo- she was... Oh, she opened my chakras in her house. Get she opened them in the house? She... she- 
You should and do that outside. Yeah. Problem is, you keep opening the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, that was another person I thought I was going to have some, you know. Oh. And then, of course, she was repulsed. But then she opened up your chakras and she didn't like what she found. Yeah. No, she, no, she, she opened up your chakras and found a bunch of fat. No, but she opened my chakras up and I was crying. I couldn't stop. It was un- unbelievable. Maybe that turned too intense. Off. I got a real question. Does your chakras smell funny? No, no. It's it just a problem. Vein. And what's a 54-year-old obese man crying with no. his chakras open? That's not a turn No, on. this is 20 years ago. So, so, so you thought you were going to bang the trainer? Yeah, I kind of thought so. You know, I what thought right away. Then? What happened? Uh, Open up. This this is great for comedy. I got the friend zone routine. That's fucking lying. I bet yeah. you're in there quite. A bit. <laughs> I bet you're in the friend zone quite a bit. That, I, yeah, I hate that fucking that zone is bullshit. Well, there is a friends with benefits zone too. I'll give you a hint on how to get out of Have the friend zone. Have you ever been in the friends with benefits? Yeah, you got to calm down a little. You got to play it a little more cool. I think I know. you know what you should do. You should do what Bruce Jenner did and get a vagina. Get a get a pussy. Uh, if you can't get any, get one. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what, though? First of all, you know, it's... You're guaranteed to have one pussy every day. They can't take that away from you. (laughs) Every day you'd wake up guaranteed to have a pussy, and it'd be your pussy. Wait, let me go around this table, except so... James, how often do you have sex besides 20 years ago? Oh. Oh, well, well, let's see. I was ten years old twenty years ago. So no, I wasn't. Was I know you married, Fonds. Chris. I know well, you married. married. You got a great woman. You probably have sex constantly. I have a problem. So we. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Nick, but, I'm, I'm right well, I, 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 I tell you what. Since I broke up my fiance, there's been two women. One was one was recently. <laughs> uh, the story is not the most romantic story, but uh, yeah. So I mean, you know. So I guess in the last. So in the last year. Because me, I had a fiance. In the last year, I've only been with three women. Well, well, I mean, which, which you know, in show business, you're right. You should be getting more. <laughs> no, but it's, no, but you can have any woman in America. That's the case. That's not true. Man. I think so. Are you I, charming I people like? No, no. He's so nice to you. Even <laughs> no, no. You can. Oh, you can. Have, it's not, Mike, up you, in your brain. Rea- can I say reality? Sure. I can't. I can't do that. You, neither can you. You have to again. The, the, these two broads, is my fiance. They uh, they hung a curveball over the plate. It was a big hanging curve, and I slang. Fucked her in the ass. But uh, you should be banging Common Electra. <laughs> what is the I fuck to eight thing? I wanted the. Maybe when you ever make that. Maybe when she's sixty. No, but there's no reason. Oh, uh, first of all, funny cat woman, you know, love you. you they say them. that women don't care. What they do is they just laugh at whatever George Clooney says, and they go, "He's funny." They just deem a good-looking guy funny. I don't agree with that at all. I think guys oh, in comedy it, get a lot so more sex than they would normally get. You oh no! They Listen, what, comedy, they normally would look comedy has gotten me pussy that way out of my league. There's no question about that. But you fucked an eight. You said it last week. I fucked a couple of tens. I of course you did. Why don't you keep keep the good flow but, flowing? But I'm just saying, it, it, it's I can't fuck any of those girls had emotional problems. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for being honest. Of no, but what do you mean? They be crying to get I'm honest about it. I mean, I mean no, I, 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 this comedy doesn't turn you into John Stamos. Hot chicks are crazy. No, but uh, what do you mean emotional? Like crying to get beat up in band camp, things like they that. Having sex, like no, like beat up in band camp. No, they, no, you don't want to be in bed with someone crying to get beat up in the Girl Scouts from the foot. You know what I mean? Probably the stripper thing, the daddy issue thing is true. Uh, but uh, you can still, you had women like you can get any. I swear to God. Well, why don't you concentrate on what you can get, though? I believe I, I, you. I'm, yeah, I will. I, I am, you know. Mike, first you got to get a lint brush. First you get a lint brush. And you, well, you first you got to throw out that jacket. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> stop shopping at Chaps. I don't know where to shop. <laughs> uh, we go know. To, oh, the twin sent me one time to go, go to Lululemon, whatever. I've seen that place no, down in Soho. that's Spandex. Soho. That's Spandex. That's where you'll get your yoga pants. There's only one There's only one straight guy I've ever heard say Lululemon. That's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> they told, twins told me they knew all those places. Of course, they're broads. <laughs> now, where did you buy the watch for Marie? And did you feel it? And when you got the watch for her, she was just going to throw her. No, out? I had to throw, throw him off the track. I don't want because she's so much younger than me. I was like, let Liz, you know, be both. Did but, you get any signs at all that that Marie wanted to fuck you? But well, she, the way she used to laugh and have fun with me, I'm like, yeah, baby, this is good. Yeah, this but she does the cabin. same thing with her dog. <laughs> No, but you can look into a woman's eyes and see it sometimes. You can also see fear. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the duct tape comes in. <laughs> well, Mike, listen, the weather, I feel, I, you were not prepared for the weather. I will be on. I'm weather so jokes. I will Do you know how it is in New York? I have a coat on and I have a hoodie. At. Which one should I wear? Should I put on yeah, shorts? Yeah, no, this is why. This is, Chris makes a good point. Chris Cotton here as well. Chris makes a good point. 
that you do a service to the people of where you where you do the weather. Chris needs to know how to dress. You I don't said know to put it's on. brisk yet cold. What does that mean? I have on shorts or jeans. I don't know which one to take out. Give us the local weather. Okay, right now in New York City, it's about 25. We'll do proper no. weather later. Oh, he has it. What do you have? You put him on the spot. He got nervous. He wasn't ready. So when Dan oh, tells him. Oh, yeah. Well, I, well, I like doing that. Okay. I know. <laughs> I just clarify. Welcome to show business. Well, I was just clarifying. <laughs> I'm used to it. So don't I worry. put him on the spot. <laughs> what the hell do you think I'm doing? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get subscribers here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for not letting Mike prepare. <laughs> no, but I mean. Uh, 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 we do uh, have. <laughs> Sue's a regular. She's wearing a Jerry Bruckheimer over here. <laughs> no, but I, I got to tell you, we do have, when we come back, we do have prepared weather. Oh, nice. Okay. Craig Lagrin's here. Craig, thank you for, you know, of course, always taking Mike. Craig's a real funny comic in his own right. He'll be here for the second segment. Craig, you have any plugs you want to give? No, I'm good. Where are you going to be? Uh, tonight I'm on Staten Island, but... Where? Give uh, him the mic, Mike. Give him the microphone. <laughs> I just did. I, I, it, 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 ah, well, uh, I got up. Uh, no, Staten Island, uh, the Staten Island Arts Building, or something down on Front Street. Down, cool, uh, man. He's doing gigs, man. This guy's a, he's a journeyman. He's doing I'm, gigs. I'm trying. I'm running yeah. around working a lot. Funny guy, Craig. Go, Thank you, man. Go check him out. You have a website? Uh, yeah, just uh, Comedian Craig L on Instagram and Twitter. Cool. Comedian Craig L is good enough. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Yeah, we're going cool. to take a quick break. We're going to do a, uh, some music that we have the rights to, which I'm sure is very entertaining. <laughs> And uh, when we come back, we'll talk some current events. This guy, Greg Hardy, got signed by the fucking Cowboys. It's pissed me. The NFL Ugh. are such hypocrites. They are such a... Here's a guy, Greg Hardy, got convicted of a domestic violence where he, re he beat the shit out of this woman. In the court papers, and I'll read some of it to you later, she says he beat the shit out of me to the cops. She's got bruises all over her. And then in the next uh, hearing, he pays her off. And the poor girl, I don't judge her for anything. Maybe she needed the money. She takes the money, drops the charges. So we know he's guilty. But the NFL, with their fucking uh, public service announcements, like, uh, no more, she was asking for it. No more. All this bullshit. Uh, the Cowboys immediately give this jerk off 11.3 million bucks for a year. He should be doing time. Hey, he's a scumbag. But the Cowboys, of course, took him. And, uh, you know, that's it. If you're voice. good, you play. You know what those public service announcements say? They say, if you work at a gas station and you beat up your wife, we're not going to tolerate it. You're go. But if you're a great pass rusher, we're fine with it. Matter of fact, we're going to give you 11 million bucks on top of it. Bunch of fucking hypocrite assholes. And I'm banned from ESPN. <laughs> I guess Greg Hardy could get on ESPN. I said Carrie Champion's sexy. I can't be on ESPN. Greg Hardy beats the fuck out of a woman, and he'll, he's got 11 million bucks from it. Cowboys! You should have beat the shit out of it. Uh, yeah, be... I'm sure it'll be on first take. <laughs> that was Ray Rice might be a patriot, I heard. I, I hate Ray Rice much. might be a patriot. Yeah. At his wedding, he had a best man. His wife had a cut man, as I said before. <laughs> Disgusting. The NFL, shame on you. Shame on you, NFL. Go fuck yourselves. You're a bunch of dirtbags. Back after this. Bro, look at yourself. You're an unemployed drunk. You play softball in corduroys, and you still live with your mother. You shave your body hair, wear Speedos down ashore, and root for the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, that's America's team, asshole. Not in Jersey, asshole. We grew up 15 minutes from Giant Stadium. You're a fucking Cowboys fan? Look at... I'm like, this is a pretty racist map here. This guy looks like... He goes, Bill in Wyoming. He's got a it looks like it's no worse than the Redskins logo. No, but that's even... Oh. 49ers, that's a good solid logo right there, huh? Yeah, I like the 49ers logo. <laughs> Gold Rush, baby. Uh, we're back with the Artie Quitter, Artie Lang Uncensored Podcast. Uh, Mike Buschetti is back as the weatherman. And Mike, you're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, this is created by the brilliant mind of Dan Filato and Audie Lank. We, uh, no, well, Dan thought about no, this Dan, when we were at DirecTV, okay. so let's let Mike do the weather. A very simple idea that you turned into, my friend. You turned into television history. Oh, Dan is... Yay. <laughs> well, <laughs> Yay, Mike. Well, without the big, without the big Dan would, would be not, you know... Mike, stop okay. it. Stop complimenting right now, other people. <laughs> Embarrasses Minnesota. No, shut up. I, I didn't ask you for oh, it yet. Okay, sorry. <laughs> 
I'll throw it to you. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm the anchor. You okay, know what that sorry. means? Yeah, you're the, I'm holding okay. us down. Okay, no problem. You want to have a regular conversation and throw Uh-oh. it to him out of nowhere? I'm the anchor on your career. <laughs> regular convo. You understand? Okay. Okay. And when I when okay. I release the anchor is when I release you. Oh. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> and you float to the top. I'll shake like to the bottom. <laughs> you float to the top like a pile of shit <laughs> in a chap suit, and give the weather. That's right. Barney's makes a model of chaps. Barney's no. <laughs> Barney Ruggles maybe. <laughs> But uh, a couple of a couple of current events things I'd like to talk about. As I said before, Greg Hardy, uh, a guy who beat the shit out of his girlfriend, it's documented, signed by the Cowboys. Mike, why are you sitting? Um, I thought you were in good shape. What, I was, if I throw, uh, <laughs> what if I throw it to you and you're not prepared? Oh, I was. Uh, I, I made a mistake. Now, do you need the rest? No, no, no. Take a seat. <laughs> okay, sit down. Okay. You clearly need the rest. No, no, I don't need to rest. You said you're in shape. You can't you stand up. No, no, I was, you know, I... I look, Mike, you can't stand I up. I thought, you know, I got an order. I think it was an order then to just, uh, you know... You do, Dan, is that true? I told him to relax. Oh. Okay, well, relax. Then, I guess. Okay, Dan's thank you, Dan. Dan's the producer. <laughs> Dan's Lauren Michaels. I'm Chevy Chase. <laughs> I'm just a chairman. <laughs> and you're not. All right, so wait there. When you feel you're not out of breath anymore. Let no, me I'm never out of breath. I'm always good. <laughs> You're out of breath right now? From no, I'm, I'm congested. All you said was it's 84 degrees in Oregon and you're huffing and puffing like you ran a marathon. I'm, con- I'm congested. I think you wouldn't sick again. Oh, no. no. So now we're going to get sick? You're no, it's self-contained. Congested? <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have bronchitis? <laughs> yeah, self-contained. Don't worry. You guys are good. It's no, bronchitis great. is not self-contained. No, it is. To me, it is. I always get it by what, myself. you have malaria too He always gets there? it by himself. <laughs> you don't know who you've infected. Do you have any dogs that have died? Oh that, oh, that little dog we got, Snow, I love her. Died? No, she's still here. Snow? Yeah, I love that doggy. That poor dog lives in that house of horrors. Does the dog <laughs> have to lie on its belly and eat too? No, she. but she's vicious now. She's starting to get angry like us. Well, if you stop burning it with cigarettes, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you love Snow so much? What, kind of, dog, what kind of dog is Snow? She's a four, pa- four and a half pound chihuahua. Do you like dog. Paris Hilton? No, but I, I wish we had a Rottweiler. I like them better. Well, they're too big. Well, or, nice. or Jack Russell would and be you cool. probably yeah, but you don't take care of the dog you just I would love it. I love dogs and cats no, people, but Mike, better than the people. dog would die though your mother no, takes my care my dog of would the be taken care of I love animals by who people. by me do you know how to take care of yeah. dogs you make sure you take him to the vet get his shots make sure he's cool walk him feed him Mike make who him walks happy. and feeds the dog find some chicks for him who you know, walks some... and feeds the dog every day I would no, you don't though Why my brother was my brother's dog you know he's yeah but he probably doesn't either no, your he mom does. probably does everything. No, no, he does. She loves that animal. Who does your laundry? Your mother. <laughs> You're 53 No, I, I, I've been doing it. I mean, you know. No, you haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't. I've been doing it. That's Mike, right. you're 53 years no, old. No, I know how to do it. It's easy. I Why believe you? Mike. How old are you, Mike? Do mommy happy? Um, I was, I'll put it this way. I was born in the early 60s. Now, how, how old are you? Uh, uh, actually, my birthday is next. What's today, Dad? My birthday's April 3rd. And how oh, my birthday's April 2nd, Mike. We're like oh, nice. I'll be, uh, you know, you know who else is April I'll be 3rd? What celebrities? Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy and Marlon Brando. And Marlon Brando, that's right. Oh, wow. Dave Winfield as well. No, Dave Winfield's October 3rd. I apologize. I'm 50, Go ahead. I'm 50 years old. 50 what? I'm 50 years old. <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> you now you're being a chick. You got a chihuahua. You're lying about your age. You are <laughs> power. You're Elizabeth Taylor. I'm, I'm, I'm 42 years old. How old are you, Mike? Please. I beg you, tell I'm me the 54 right. years old. 54. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're yeah, going to yeah, be 55? Yeah. No, no, she's, she's going to be 54. Now. Oh. So f- you're 54 and your mother does your laundry. No, I know how to do it. You know, I just, I give her a break. No, I, you no, know. You know how to do it. No, you don't. I carry it down and stuff. I bring it back up. You know, and you give it to your poor mother. How she old is your mother? How old is she? She mother? insists. 78 or something. Oh. She insists, she's though. She's a I mean, wonderful I, woman. I've met I tried to do it, and, and she, she actually got well, mad. because you're probably bad at it. She got mad at me for fighting with Dan. She took Dan's corner more than me. She did. She goes, because you're wrong. She goes, he's a wonderful guy. She goes, why do you got to fight with people all the time? Be an idiot. That's what she said to me. But that's what, what I told you on in Twitter, too. I didn't say you're an idiot, but I said you got to calm down a little. But, Mike, you, you do. You, you're people. aggressive. But yeah. you're not aggressive when it comes to laundry. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. don't, 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 again, you're, you're giving Italians a bad name in the sense that you still live at home in the attic. You're 54. 
you, you your mother does your laundry and she brings you food up to the attic and you leave no, the, I, I go, you leave the plates underneath no, the bed no, and no. then your mom when she gets up the energy takes the plates from under the bed like a week later no no I stopped because that it now. starts I, to sting I leave them outside the door like room service now. You leave the plates outside the door of your bedroom. Like room service, yeah. Oh like, my god, know. not the plates that you had your penis on. I'll make a tip. I'll put a tip in there once in a while. How many <laughs> meals? How many meals before your poor mother can get up there? No, I take stuff. I don't eat upstairs anymore now. Why not? Because I know what a freaking wreck the place is. It's horrible if I eat up there. Uh, dude, it's really disgusting. I have like cereal bowls from like three weeks, you know, things like that. <laughs> cereal bowls from three weeks ago. It's, I think this is a very Italian thing. All the Italian guys I know have no, been well, that's like not that. True. Not no, like and this. he's never going to have sex. Well, I, I mean, I, I can't, I'm not arguing with that, with too. Now, what I'm talking about here <laughs> is him, is his, is his mother yeah, feeding Mike, him. I'm saying once once a chick sees this lifestyle. Chris, can you take me out looking for chicks, man? You're a cool guy. Listen, I'm cool, but I'm married, so I can't help you get to where you need to get to in the level. But, Mike, well, no, but you, you, Sue's right in the sense that when, when you see a chick, I go berserk on the inside. No, no, but when she finds out about this lifestyle, like Sue, when you if you found out that he would leave plates for his mom at the age of fifty four, outside the bedroom in the attic where he still lives with her and she does the laundry, <laughs> what what are your thoughts there? What are your I thoughts? I feel like there wouldn't be any room. Do for you me. run away? Yes, because well, I, I, I can change the situation around and say, well, I own the home. I've let, let her live there for free. You know what I mean? You don't own the home. I mean. <laughs> She I, owns the home. I have friend, I have friends and family members who ha who do that, but they're packing huge dicks and a lot of confidence. <laughs> I don't care how big if you don't have a huge delicious. dick and a lot of confidence. Well, I have. Fucked. Well, the other part of me is gigantic. Part of the penis. The part, confidence. You know? Oh, <laughs> what are you? Your balls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you, you, do have have a, you have enormous balls. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 The way you live with your mom. <laughs> 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 But it really is. So and now you live. If I live by myself in my who 20s, else lives in the work home? out though. Everything in happened in his twenties, from what it sounds like. Right? Who else lives in the home? Yeah, the twenties. My, yeah, my, uh, like the middle twenties. It was great. It was a re train wreck in alcohol. The nineteen twenties. In twenties. Who else lives in the home? What do you call it? Uh, my brother does upstairs. Well, he's an epileptic. It's a disability, disabled case. Oh my god. <sighs> But he's a psychopath as well, so, you know. It's, it is going to get hard to get pussy in this house. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> no, he's a psychopath, on top good. Of it, but a good guy. Okay, and who else? Uh, my sister. She, her husband died. She's a widow now. Jeez, this is the saddest fucking house yeah, yeah. I've heard of in a while. Now my mom has heart disease and leukemia. We have a sad I house. Swear to God. Well, Mike, what, what are your plans? And I'm dead serious about this, Mike, because I have this nightmare, of course, that you'll end up living with me. Yeah, yeah. I'll come yeah. over and help. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll say uh, now. We can man up against some whores. Do not <laughs> high five me for that. I'll Do not high five me for that. I'll come over and help if that. No, happens. please, Sue. I will. I don't want anyone to see it. <laughs> no, but 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 you you. What is your game plan when your wonderful angelic mother, when God finally gives her the sweet release of not being here anymore, when God finally says, Mrs. Boschetti, you're you're an angel. And I'm bringing you up to heaven <laughs> so you could sit by my side. And that's where she deserves to be, oh, by the yeah. side of the Lord. And, and, and I'm going to make you comfortable and you never have to do Mike's laundry and clean his cereal. <laughs> okay? And clean his disgusting drool cups. <laughs> you have a drool cup? Dribble cups. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm kidding. No. I feel like there's really a drool cup. I'll explain cup. later. <laughs> Chris, I'll explain later. <laughs> no, but, but, but when, when God finally gives her that sweet release, <laughs> what is your plan? Well, what I, is have, gonna I have a couple of game you, plans. Well, are you going to go into a home, a facility? No, no. My sister, what do you call it, has a house. It's a cool house. Yeah, but what? Okay, so you're going to go just live with another woman who's going to have to take care of you. No, I, I can't. So now your poor sister will have to take care Husband, of you. Husband's like a super good guy, but anal will tend to be At like what point under. is Craig going to have to be the person uh -huh. taking <laughs> Well, he rescued me in my house one time. Craig, do you have a fear that you will be, in fact, the caretaker? That was crossed my mind. Was well, well, <laughs> no, but he rescued me in my house, Artie. He did. How did he do that? Uh, by mistake, I locked my door in my room and I didn't have By a key to it. mistake, you lock... Wait a minute. This has the makings of what could be the greatest story of all time. <laughs> you lock the door to your bedroom. Yeah. And you couldn't get out. No, I was No I wasn't one home. else was in the house? No, no. I wasn't home. I had the key in, in the room, but I locked it by mistake. So you couldn't get in your bedroom? I couldn't get in my bedroom. My mom... What had the cat locked in there. He was crying all day to get out, right? <laughs> was anyone else in the house? Your epileptic brother? Uh, the, <laughs> but no, what happened was... I got home about 12 o'clock. Your widowed sister? My mom yeah. had this face on that was like really like, 
ridiculously. The know. face of a woman who's been in a living hell for I, I said to her, what did somebody die? And you know what she said to me? <laughs> so you're right. So uh, I, I asked my mom. <laughs> so are you imagining the stink of the room? The cat shit on the floor. No, 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 no. He was behaved. He was a good cat. I love that. Yeah, I'm sure the cat didn't shit or piss on the floor. Yeah. They didn't no, find that shit yet. So I, I said to my mom, you know, I said to her, what did somebody die? And this is exactly what she said. She goes, yeah, it should my, only yes, be that simple. It should only be that simple. That's what she said, and she right? said, yes, Mike, my spirit died. So I got over there, right? My spirit died in the mid She goes, look what you did, right? She's trying to jimmy the door open with a butter knife herself. She's trying to open it up. Now, so, where did you find a butter knife? At the plate by the door? Yeah, she, <laughs> <laughs> she had my brother, like, trying to barrel it down with his shoulder. He had a bad shoulder, right? So yeah, I called Dick brother? I called Craig up about oh, 1230 at night, at least. About 1, 1230, 1 in the morning. And Craig gets the call we're all dying to get. I go, Craig. I'm locked out of my bedroom. I'm locked out of my bedroom. My mom is freaking out. Come and get me. And my now, cat's were you able private. to tell the difference between your shit and piss and the cat's shit and piss? <laughs> <laughs> His was a little bigger than mine, really. Do you get up to shit? <laughs> no, he didn't. He was a Do good you boy. get up to shit? Yeah. Have you ever, Why you, did you have to think about it, Mike? Yeah, I get up all. I get, get up all the time. <laughs> we, well, you urinate in the shower, right? No, that's pathetic. <laughs> You've never pissed in the shower. Well, maybe after drunken times, I might have. Did you ever shit in the shower? Right? No, I shit in my pants drunk a few times. But I mean, yeah. now who cleans that up? <laughs> Sue is literally throwing up. Well, actually, Sue grew up in a triple decker in Dorchester. Well, actually, mom is pretty. Actually, I've been sober 18 years on St. Patty's Day. Good for you, by the way. That is, that's the, you're a stronger man yeah. than me. That's great. St. Patty's Day, you got sober? Yeah, you know why? I was really drunk the night before. And you were shit? You shit your pants? No, I was living a bad lifestyle. I was hanging with people with bass and cocaine and stuff, and it was really bad. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah, but I want to be shot by people for no reason. Oh, so this was like, criminals you were hanging with? Well, these guys base cocaine and all kinds of characters hanging with them, and I just almost died of an alcohol overdose. Right. So I decided to end it. And Well, not end it. Well, but... I, I started to stop. It took me a couple more years, but... Yeah, it feels. I, I kind of. I can't even be around booze now. I can't even go. To, I don't go to bars for that reason. Good for you, but that's amazing. That's a very strong thing. Yeah, it's it not is. Easy. That's a, I'm 18 years sober. Is a yeah, big but you know thing. it's really bad. I'm uh, not even kidding, my guy. I'm very proud of you for that. Thank you, up because I was on the bus here and I smelled booze. Right, but you know it was really bad. I smelled it and it came up and to my you head. Dealt it, and I'm like, I was like, no, I was like, fuck, man, I needed. I could. I felt like grabbing a beer. And what'd you do? I said, fuck. Did you go to smell. AA ever? I, I never went to AA. You know why? Because I don't feel like having people cry, hearing people cry well, about no, their shit. It's not really. all about that. If I, I, I yeah, but people I, I, I know from AA are very really? good people. I do. The people I know, there are some people like you're talking about, but the people that I've met who really get that program are very good people. They might teach you how to take care of yourself. No, a but well, that's the other thing. Now you, the booze you've conquered. Yeah, I, cigarettes See, I, too. I never conquered the booze. I haven't had a cigarette. I did figure out how to get my laundry done from someone other than my mom. <laughs> No, but the and, uh, if I had all the evils I had to go back to, if I really had to go back to any of them, I do eat in my kitchen. I would pick pot out of booze. Well, would, would, do you feel you need one? Well, if I had to, because alcohol made me an animal, fighting with people, an idiot, and punch them up fights, family and friends, and a couple of strangers. So, like you said yeah. before, you would get in punch them up fights. Yeah, it would be like you know, bloody punch and fights with my brothers and friends, bloody punch and family, fights. and some cool friends. Somebody would say something stupid and somebody would get it and then... Like what? Like you eat cereal in your room or shit your pants? No, my brother would be like making fun of me. I'm like, fuck Stop you. For what? Like eating, eating cereal in your room and shitting your pants? That started at Christmas. My brother punt, kicked me into the Christmas tree. When did you become a full agoraphobe? When did you become a full agoraphobe and start to eat in your room? I would. If I was a zillionaire, I told you that a, long, a while ago, I'd build a castle in the south of France. But here's the irony. Hide from fucking idiots, right? But here's the irony. You can't become a zillionaire... Uh, if you don't leave your room. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can if you're on the net, if you develop something on the net. So is that your anywhere. game plan? Do you have a business? Do you have a website that you're currently no, designing? No, just you don't know what's on the net. You can, people... Well, what are you going to do? Hopefully something phenomenal. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, you see stuff on there. You never know. You can tell everybody, Mike, they're going to steal well, your yeah, idea. Well, I doubt he has an idea. Don't send any Nigerian men any is money. You, is the computer in your room... Yeah, I have two computers. So when you lock yourself out of the room, how are you going to get to the I got computer? an iPad that I take with me all the time, sometimes, and just the regular uh, computer. Do you have your iPad with you now? No. Is it locked in your room? Yeah. No, well, it's locked Do in Do you have closet. the key to your room? No, I don't have, I don't put locks in the It's locked anymore. in your closet along with your sexuality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I, I Do like you feel woman. you might be homosexual? No, not at all. I don't, I'm not a Well, not I a mean, you've been, you've been no, dry no. of pussy for a long time. No, no, I'm not. Do I'm you feel not. you might be asexual? No, I mean, well, 
asexual means you haven't had you know no no you, no you don't care about it at all no i love it are you kidding me i'd have it every day if it's what would week. bring you more pleasure punching a woman in the face who rejects you or having sex with her having sex with her mm, okay That's good fine. he's getting That's better your story he's getting better. <laughs> he's getting better. <laughs> how many cereal bowls are currently outside your door right now? uh none okay. your mother cleaned them up today no i, I eat downstairs now with everybody else at the table you eat at the table with people? She, well, she gets pissed off when you're at the table because she's like... Well, she doesn't like eating at the table. No, she hates my eating habits at the table. So, well, that's no. interesting. Well, so I've seen you eat, Mike. You eat with your fingers. She said that she goes... What a scumbag. Goes, Mike, but, but Mike, honestly, we ate at the Comedy Cellar one night. And oh, yeah. you got a, some sort of couscous salad. It was really good. Go and he was go eating with his fingers. You were eating with your fingers. Oh, so you eat everything with your hands? Do you do that with raviolis and stuff? No. Oh, no, no, no. So what does your mother hate about it? She said, yeah, I, I'm very clumsy. I spill stuff all the time. You know what I mean? Like... I don't believe that for a second. So how filthy is your room? Your room must have stains it everywhere. It must be grotesque. No, my room is immaculate now. It's, it's, it's so be. moist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's you guys so are trying moist. to make me throw up. It's so <laughs> moist. Do you get, like, in fact, in a stupor over your mother's cooking and say that at the table? Let's play that again, James. But no, my mom's It's so moist. <laughs> It's so moist. No, I don't, I don't want to be thrown out on these the street. These raviolis really. are so moist. <laughs> your lasagna is so moist. <laughs> Mike, get to your room. So what you're saying is your mother, in her late 70s, with all of her heart conditions, a wonderful woman who will sit by the side of the Lord one day. I know. I guarantee this. I'll be next to her. No, you will be in hell. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but if there's any justice. But you're saying your poor mother with her conditions and her, at her uh, old age would rather walk up three flights of steps I'm not and sure carry happens. your filthy plates downstairs no, but I never instead do. of watching you eat at the table. I, she's like... She How grote... You must eat like a rhinoceros. She, she's like... She always likes when I go out to eat, really. What, are, you, what are the eating habits? What does she eat? She, she's like, you want to go out to eat? I'm like, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no worries. But who's paying for that? Her. I, I do. I always make sure I always pay. For With myself. what money? I, I stash some dough. So I, I From what? Money. From things I've done. What have you things, done? Things I've done your show. I did other things. You know? Yeah, but our show's been over for almost two years, Mike. No, it's a year, but I know what I'm, I know what it. Mm-hmm. How long has our show been done, Dan? A year? Yeah, a year. A year. So you, uh, but you couldn't have saved up enough money to, to where you still have money from that. No, I do. I still got some cash. I wasn't a stupid guy. Oh. So no, but I'm saying no one. It does not matter, matter being stupid. You didn't make enough money to where you still have money. I don't think he doesn't have to spend money on anything. I mean, yes, Who pay, you don't pay any rent. I pay rent, absolutely. I make sure I do. I doubt that. No, I do. I do. I paid rent since I'm, I'm 18 years old. I got a job early in life. Always well, what made about sure getting my rent your own apartment? Due. First, everything I always made sure my family's rent was covered. What always. about getting your own apartment? I can't afford both. My mom, I don't want to leave my mom. She has no money. Then what am I going to do with that then? You know what I mean? I don't want well, to... she's going to be the happiest person ever. <laughs> <laughs> you ever look at it from that side of where she'd be insanely happy? It was fun when I did live by myself, though. In my 20s, that was awesome. Where did you live? I lived in an apartment building. It was great. I worked well, so there So why well. did you stop doing that? I got drunk all the time, got high. It was, it was a nightmare. But you were getting pussy at the time, right? Everything yeah. happened in his oh, 20s. Yeah. He was well, fucking his cousin. Yeah. No, not cousin. She was like, she was, she she actually, you know, is f- fucked up now, so. I, I can mean, imagine. I mean, you'll, you'll you'll it sounds she has yeah. a lot of things to walk down memory lane with. <laughs> I went on a date with her like 10 Remember years ago. Remember when I was fucking Mike Pachetti when he lived in that apartment building <laughs> getting I, drunk I, I, went, I, I went on a date with her like 10 years if ago. If those are your good old days. Yeah. And nothing happened. I'm, I was ticked off. What happened? We went on a date like 10 years ago. And nothing happened. Did you try to rekindle the old fire? Uh, yeah, I was like, fuck, this whore isn't even holding my hands right now. Uh, why would you maybe call if you called her a whore. <laughs> But why would you call her a whore, Mike? Well, she was at that time, you know what I mean? Because So she was a full-blown hooker. I was like, hooker. I used to see these tits are free. What the hell's going on was here, she, you know what so I mean? So at the time, she was a hooker? <laughs> no, she's a regular girl, but I mean, well, you, you know. you said at the time she was a whore. No, that's what she was to me, you know what I mean? Why? Because she didn't want to fuck you anymore? Yeah, I'm like, come on, what's, what's wrong with this picture? Did you here? wear that suit, Mike? No, no. <laughs> Maybe that's the deterrent. Did Maybe you, you got to stop putting that suit on. But she, <laughs> when you had sex, I'm being dead honest, would she cry? She was awesome. <laughs> you didn't hear the question. No, would she cry? <laughs> she moaned a lot. No cries. Would she go, oh, daddy, how could you do this? No, she, <laughs> she'd, no she'd say some cool stuff. You would know? she say, God, why did you abandon me? No, she'd be like... A, she'd, would she say the poem Footprints out loud? <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> she loved it. Are you kidding me? I loved it. Do you think when she looked back on her life, that would be one of the times where God was carrying her? Like, oh, no, now, she, now she's like dating some guys like a convicted felon. It's a drug addict. So oh, I got real she's talk. moving up in the world. How do you know it, Mike? How do you know that? You keep tabs on her? Her brothers wanted me to marry her one time. They were good guys. So her brothers are now in a mental institute. No, no. They're all good guys. They work. They, got they wanted you to marry her? Yeah. You were the dream boat that docked. Yeah. So I always treated her right, but she just disrespected me. Just called her a whore. Well, I felt pissed because I didn't have it at <laughs> How did she disrespect you? I don't know. She, By not you know, fucking you? No, it was By like... By not cleaning up your cereal plates and your cat shit? It, it was just like a friends with benefits thing, and uh, unfortunately my, my, my heart got friends attached to Friends with benefits? More. What about getting a job with benefits? <laughs> <laughs> what about that? No, but the good thing was like when it was friends with benefits... She called me up. And By the way, stop she... saying that ridiculous yuppie Ashton Kutcher movie. Okay, my my fuck yeah, buddy. I'll, 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 fuck. I'll bring it up. Friends with benefits. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, Adrian Grenier? <laughs> what do they call it now? Talk like a man. To, I don't know what to call it. You know, you abroad. You're fucking. Yeah. Okay, that sounds better. <laughs> so go ahead. What about what happened? No, she was great sex. Awesome. She was. I fucked an ape. Well, you fucked. Well, listen. Did you ever? I mean, how much sex have you had? Besides? A lot with her. But besides her, yeah. well, you know, after that, I turned into Hookerville. You know what I mean? For a while. I a lot them. of whores. I loved them too. They were great. Was was she better than a lot of your hookers? Uh, one hooker I had was from was uh, from like I think Peru. She was oh man, almighty. She was great. Where do you get money for a hooker? She was like that was like well, only Peruvian chicks. Depending on the chick, could be forty cents. No, it was only <laughs> it was this place so in uh, mid like Twelfth Street and Second Avenue gone now, but. <laughs> We used to go in there. Twelfth Street and Second Ave. In the eighties, we pick it up. Nineties, we pick a woman out. <laughs> then we wind up. Wait a minute. Oh, in the nineteen eighties, eighties, nineties. What's the weather like in Los Banos, California? <laughs> oh, <there's>... ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know how like on the news they banter okay. with the weatherman first. That was just our banter. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Audrey. that was our banter. Then we oh. go right into the non sequitur. I'm sorry. I Thank you, Mike, for telling us about the whore and the I... mother and the cereal. I thought it was locking in... yourself out, Craig, saving your life. You shitting your pants, drunk. And now let's hear the weather in Los Banos, California. Weather oh, with sorry, Bichetti. Uh, it's in Embarrassus, <laughs> Minnesota. Embarrass. <laughs> it's in Barassus, it says. It looks like Barass. No. Barabbas. In your honor, we found the name of a town, Embarrass. Okay, Embarrass, Minnesota. Okay. Right now, You're going to embarrass Minnesota right now. Embarrass, Minnesota is by this gentleman's <laughs> hockey puck right here. <laughs> It's by his hockey Watch puck. Watch embarrass his Staten Island. <laughs> embarrass right now. A couple of showers. Rain of snow. <laughs> How about you taking a couple of showers? What do you call it? At Embarrass, Minnesota. These are beach balls coming in. Actually, it's raining. It's raining snow in the afternoon today. It's uh, raining men. Hallelujah. <laughs> followed by some shower spots tonight. Oh, by tonight, right? Right, but a guy's hockey puck is embarrassing. Well, you understand? Okay. For you people that don't see this, it's like all well, characters of people, which each stage represents. Uh, well, they guys call player. them emojis. Oh, emo emojis. Yeah, I got cool. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Friends with benefits. Now, my next state is what from... What a fag. My next state is from the great state of Dan Filato, I call it. Chicago. Chicago. Yes. Well, Chicago's not a state. <laughs> it is. Oh, city. Illinois. I'm right. so sorry. <laughs> Illinois. Well, to me, Chicago's a state. I love it. You know what I mean? It's a state Chicago, of mind. Mike, to you, Chicago's a state. You sound stupid if you say that, Mike. No, I forgot it's in Illinois. I'm sorry. That's where President Lincoln is from to Springfield. Yeah, a lot honest of places answer. How many Illinois. plates are outside your room right now? None. <laughs> Zero, Zilcho. Okay, whatever. No, none, none, none. Your chap suit and you are lying through your fucking. Chaps nose. made by Bonnie's. No, it's not. <laughs> they are. I swear to God. Look it up, Google. <laughs> Who is fucking suit. lying it's, to you? It's made overseas by Bonnie's. It's made overseas. It's the, overseas you know. by Bonnie's. Sue St. Laurent over here. It's to not sure. a suit. It's a. It's pants and a sports jacket. Well, for our purposes. But these shoes are nice. They are shoes. Yeah. Go ahead, Tommy. That's a guarantee. They are See? shoes. See, look. Yeah, Tommy Hill, Tommy Hillwiger. You're okay. definitely wearing shoes. That's a fact. What do you call it? Uh, Chicago. Tommy, Tommy Hillwiger. If his shoes okay. untied, he's going to fall. Mike, <laughs> don't fall. I'm good, Sue. I, I can... If you fall, don't fall into that. Uh, See, guys? Dude, don't fall into that glass table. I'm good. I, I'll never fall. Uh, <laughs> I'm not picking pieces of your head out of that table. Okay. Uh, Artie, in Los Banos, California. And don't lean uh, on my, my th oh, th that okay. cabinet. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Where's Cali right now? Hold on. No, wait. Cal you don't know where oh, here, California right here. is? It's right there. Not a lot of places to choose from. How Sorry. did you miss California, <laughs> Mike? I don't, I don't know Hollywood. I don't know the rest of the state. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Mike? You clearly look like you know Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> you dress like the king of Hollywood. 
<laughs> yeah, but do you ever go by uh, the Walk of Stars? There's all kinds of characters over there. Huh? The Walk of Stars? In Hollywood. Yeah, I love that. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> okay, in Los Banos, California, today. Los Banos, and Bruce Banner? Los California? Banos is by the director's emo, they call it, right? The what? Uh, Los Banos is probably emoji. by the clapping board. Emoji, you forgot the word, emoji. Emo Philip. <laughs> right. Uh, it, today, it's, 80, it's high at 80 degrees in Los Banos, right here, maybe in this area. Now, right. is, is Los Banos Northern California? It probably is Southern California, by the name. What's your favorite Eric Banos film? Uh, actually, I love. Mine's uh, Troy. I love the, what do you call it? Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. In the, lovely, in, the, in, the, in the lovely city of Hoboken, New Jersey. This is your radio gold, Mike. I'm always saying. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Let's move on. Okay. In the, in, <laughs> okay, in the uh, city of, of, of Hoboken, New Jersey. But we're in Hoboken. I right can do the weather for Hoboken. Hoboken is, uh, let me see. Mike's currently sticking place, his right? finger out the window. Just Hoboken, is, the Hoboken is probably about here. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. Hoboken's closer than Manhattan. Hold on. Dude, we're Chance in Hoboken. No one can see. Mike, look like, out the window. What do you see? Manhattan. <laughs> no, we're like a, 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 a The front away. window, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> No, but the other one is. is good to watch. Mike, Jersey. if you look out the back window, you see more of Hoboken. <laughs> I, the I front love that. window is what city? Uh, Manhattan, New York. Yeah, no shit. No, but it's, you can swim across. You can if you're a good swimmer. I mean, I, there's I no can. way you could swim across. <laughs> can you can, can really, right? I can think you, you swim? Can. No. Try it. So you can't swim across? No, no, no I can't. Stop, you can't no matter why you're here on comedy.com, Mike can't swim. <laughs> no, I, 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 I can. Fl- I can Tread water. You can fly? <laughs> I believe you can fly. I don't think you can tread water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I doubt it. I, can I tread believe water. you can touch this guy, Mike. Mr. Pachetti, you will be sitting by the foot of the Lord. I'll be right Soon next to him. God loves me. How could God you love you? You stay out of that water. How could God love you? He gave you, I mean, look, he doesn't love either one of us. He gave us this love. No, but he, he laughed a lot when he made us. Yeah, That's that what we're bastard. Over. That motherfucker. Oh, no. Fuck him. No, no. Don't say that. I'll pray for you tonight when I get home. Don't Thank worry you, about Mike. it. Yeah, move the plates and see if you find the crucifix. <laughs> oh, no. Don't say that. Off. It's okay, God. He's, he, you know. <laughs> see if you can find Clear the crucifix out, Mike. Clear the up. sea of jizz from the Peruvian, the dead Peruvian hooker. Well, that well, God knows I need. Where is the Peruvian hooker? Is she she was hot. She was is she decomposing. In she a wore like a, she was. She wore a red dress. She growled at me. That's why I picked her. She She's, growled at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Peruvian. Yeah. You know something? I have to agree with Mike. That's kind of hot. She growling. <laughs> I I, I want to be like, uh, but then I'm like, ah, I kind of like that. Chris, she, I picked her out. I go, I want her. Right, like picked like, her out. Where were you? No, no, you picked me out in the room, like, <laughs> you know, like give me this one or that one, right? You picked her out. You and I go, this. give me her to you like this. I'm like, you know why? Okay, well, first of all, I it's did like the growl. The growl. It was a dude. And so you just did it. That growl was a the growl. Was like, hey, <laughs> want to <laughs> see my pussy? I thought it was more like this, Mike. Like, <laughs> hey, Mike, want to see my pussy? No, but she was like a sexy good. lady growl. A sexy <laughs> lady. Hey, Mike, I hear you live in the attic of your house. No, but then I had some. <laughs> then I had some women who were like. Oh, the roller derby type looking woman or whatever who is looking <laughs> roller derby. Can you kick? shove a roller skate up my ass? <laughs> Come on, honey. <laughs> shove a roller skate up my big, enormous, the, the, white Staten Island ass. Yeah. One of my favorites was a woman named Buffalo Annie. That's what she went by. I Buffalo know, Annie. Buffalo <laughs> Annie. When I met her, she was Buffalo Andy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My uh, we need weather. I don't know oh, what yeah. the weird hobo is. You still didn't oh, tell me. I'm sorry. How about the weather in Dorchester, Mass? Oh, Dorchester? Sue. Sue's the old hometown. It's probably hot. That's all I'm saying. Dorchester. Okay, Dorchester, Mass is... uh, Don't try to find it. Uh, Yeah, let him find it. Maybe it's in the middle, Sue. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's in the middle of Massachusetts. uh, It's a part of the great city of Boston. Yes, South Boston. Uh, Dorchester, Mass. Mostly sunny tonight. Today. Uh, whoa, high 27. It's cold there. Cloudy at 18 tomorrow. Chance of snow. <laughs> oh, no, whoa, it's cold snow. there. No. It's a little chilly there. More snow. They already broke the record up there. So if you were in Dorchester, what would you wear? Would you wear that suit? 
I'd wear like a uh, Chris. I'd wear like a pea coat, coat like get warm. Wear yeah, well, all your coats have pee on it. <laughs> what would I have to put my thermostat on in the triple deck? Every coat is a pea coat. <laughs> no, they no. all have piss on them. No, they, they may have some other stains in the back. Would on you the wear back. your shit? I wear my shit coat. Why do you have stains on the back of your coats? What, do you, what have you been doing? <laughs> what happened? I've been doing because well, his last five girlfriends were his coat. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Whether no, the G spot exists. They, they have been because how many times, Mike, have you fucked your coat? <laughs> he has to think right now. That's no, I don't know. I delicious. Never, I, never went to, I never even thought of that. I never went. I just took there, myself are there out. Enormous action. stains on your mattress. Enormous cum stains. No, I, I no. I make sure I, I clean up my mess. I don't. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what is your jerk off ritual? What do you jerk off into? Onto? Do you put something down? I just do you, you know, lay salt? No, no. I just. I, I got. I don't look at dirty books anymore because I got a great memory of all chicks. Dirty books. You sound like you're 82. I don't look at dirty books no more. No, the male lady I used to love had a the crush. The male lady. Did you, ever, did you give your letterhead? She was hot. <laughs> That's a joke you could do. I said one day. Give like, you a joke. Your male lady was hot. She gave you letterhead. I, I, I hit on her one day. You know. You know my male. You hit her. Hit, her. hit on. Hit on her. Oh. Hit her with the Greg Hardy. No, you know what I said though. I go. Do you <laughs> like? I, I just said the one day. Do you like funny fat guys? And she said no. You know what she said? She goes, she, threw she, goes, goes your, she threw up on my electric bill. Yeah, but the way she said no was kind of, <laughs> kind of obnoxious. So I go, do you like funny fat guys, baby? Then I said to her baby. I shouldn't even said that part of her. She goes, <laughs> she goes, I'm Peruvian. Peruvian. <laughs> we all, she goes, no. Like that, how I said no. What are you talking about? I said, hey, do you like well, funny fat guys, no. baby? No, the way she said no was obnoxious, though. She could have been, you know, lied to me a little bit. Well, she said no because she was giving you a definite answer. No. So, like but some been, chicks will lie to you. She has to keep coming to your house. She was I've been lied to a lot, though, but I mean, you know. I mean, All she, right, Mike, wrap it up with Wasatusa, okay. Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, there's another city out in Sweden. I don't know what's Oh, let's is. hear about that. Sweden is on the map here. Uh, oh, nice. We have John from Sweden. That's one right. One of our biggest friends, Johan. Johan, you about to find out Yo, what the weird. Oh, Johan, I'm so you sorry. You do a great Swedish accent, Mike, don't you? I am Ali. He is Shvet. I don't know. Do I, I, it. Come on. Wrong one. I, I no, really wait a minute. I know because I don't know if Sue's ever heard this. Do For all the f new fans of the podcast, do your English accent. Hello, Sue. You're very charming and hot because I love that Navy hat. Like, why don't we have some crumpets in my mommy's house and then we'll see what happens from there. It'll be fine because, and then, you know, maybe we'll have some bangers and mash. That is amazing. He did good with <laughs> that because he didn't touch me. Maybe he needs to do all his flirting in his English sat accent. down right next to I know, he did. I got close. very warm. <laughs> no, my eyes so got did like... did you picture having sex around his my eyes got like plates? <laughs> I don't make me throw up. <laughs> uh, my eyes got like Al Capone's eyes when he's collecting money. No, when he, was <laughs> when he was collecting Just syphilis. Just don't call me a whore or I'll fight you. No, no. <laughs> you would never call Sue a whore. Never, because I love Sue's my friends. She's not a whore. She was nice. Like Sue is nice. Mike, it sounds like you call your girlfriends whores, though. You can't call them all whore and skanks. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. It's just my term of affection. <laughs> your tub of affection? Term of affection. <laughs> Come here, honey. Let me show you my tub of affection. <laughs> Yeah, but is that what they say? Is that what they hear right before you chloroform them? No, but my friends. Come here, honey. Let me show you my tub of affection. What are you my wearing? My sister loved when I called it names. Though. My tub of affection. She loved. You me. have a tub of affection. <laughs> no, but she loved me. Called names out there in sex. My friend, my friends, uh, you know, they had for you on and off. Like what? FBI agent? No, I'd be like, I'd be like <laughs> Agent Kowalski. No, I'd be like, you know, I'll, I'll, Sergeant Lewis. No, she'd be like, I'd say stuff like, she says. Fuck me, skank pig, things like that. You know, she, she would say that to you? I, she would want to hear that from me, saying that to me. But did she say I mean? that to you? Because it's sort of appropriate for you as well. Yeah, I loved hearing it, too. It was fun. She would say, fuck me, skank pig. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> and you loved it. Would you come quickly? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'd be like... I'd now, like, Alex, did you ever have that icicle effect on the lower part of your belly because your cum didn't make it past there? My cum... <laughs> stuck, stuck on the lower part of your belly and it looked like icicles. I gave her there. a lot of forehead shots. You never saw that sort of I never saw that. On a no. boyfriend? No. Well, when you have a big gut, sometimes your, your cum doesn't make it past no, the No, I never big gut then. It was, it was in shape. Much better. But well, you still had a gut, I'm sure. And the, 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 the what happens is the cum, if you don't wash like Mike Hardens, and it looks like icicles. I really think you're trying to make me throw up today. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> no, but she wasn't good at certain... I'm sure Chris has had that problem. I'm she wasn't good at certain problem. things, though, you know? Well, Chris, it looks like a dark night in the North Atlantic, and you see the icicles. <laughs> Coming down. She That's wasn't good funny. at certain <laughs> sex things, though. She wasn't good at what? Certain sex. Well, she wasn't good at. Well, like, she wasn't, not, like not throwing up. No, she wasn't good at giving head. She's horrible. 
Two well, you, well, two did things? you have friends who would hold up your belly while she? No, but she. I, I thought she was going to bite the banana off by mistake one day. How could you find your fucking cock? She found it. She just had a good time with it. Tell she put it. You she know. sent out a search party. <laughs> no, she she had a, she was jangling a banana. Is it true she hired a, a detective to find your dick? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, okay, let's hear the weather in Texas. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Texas. Oh. What about Johan? We don't know what to wear in Sweden. You never no, gave us Sweden. Sweden. Okay. Do it in uh, your Swedish accent. In Schwarz. Sh- sh- whoa, whoa. In Schwarz? No, <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to get punched in the face, Mike. No. <laughs> oh, God. In Schwarz today, it was dark. In Schwarz. It was dark in Schwarz. It's Schwarz out of Sweden. Tonight, it's high 50. Tomorrow, cloudy and high 55. I don't know. Yeah, that was terrible. I asked him about finding a woman over there. He was cool. Yeah, because they're all whores. It's Go to the red light district, dude. You get a hot chick. Can I? Can I? You know what I should? I, you you know what get, I should you gotta go? buy three seats for the plane. I wanted before I go picking out chicks. I'm gonna look through a CS catalog and, and go to the hooker place and see if they if they got anything close to what I like. Why don't you get a little more ancient with your references? A Sears catalog. <laughs> no one's ever seen that. It was under 38. Sears <laughs> No, but I have. I love it though. I, 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 I'll name one celeb I think you could definitely have, and I'm going to ha- hook this up. If we can get You're going to name a celebrity woman I could have? I, G- Giada. Mike, there's a better chance of you fucking Giada. <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's how it starts on. You're there's a better th- chance of Chaps offering you an endorsement, Julian, <laughs> after this appearance. No, but, no, but uh, they they fucking Giada. I, wa- I watched it. She gave me that look. They're making well, that bodies overseas. But she's hot, though. She's t- great. Oh, I, did, I, I was on The Night Show with Giada. She we had a very good chemistry, but she was repulsed. By How do you, no, <laughs> she's, she's not married anymore. Right? You should go for the gold, baby. No, well, that clearly opens the door for me. She's not married. She lives in the Hamptons with those rich fucks. You speak Italian? No. Uh, sing, sing some love songs. We'll get it going. And, uh, hang under a window What's in the Hamptons. What's your favorite love song? Uh, what do you you want to sing it? Uh, oh, Donna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, Donna. I had a girl, and Donna was her name. Oh, it's like a 60s Since song. she left me, my life hasn't been the same, and I know my girl. Donna, where can you... Richie Valens. I cried at La Bamba when I was drunk. You cried at the movie La Bamba? I drank it, too, yeah. I cried at the Karate Kid at the end of the movie when I was drunk. You got it on my coffee table. You probably cried at everything when you were drunk. Oh, oh yeah. You cried no. at yoga. No, no, so Why I really cried. Did you, you cry really cried. at Yoga? Because really they cried. opened the chakras. And, and how? And it sounds like, uh, Craig, that was, was that the same night Craig opened your door? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Craig, how did you, you get don't cry, the door? You don't cry when Craig opened your door with your mother? <laughs> how, <laughs> Craig, now you be honest. Give the microphone to Craig. I want to uh, oh, no, 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 no. interview him about that, that <laughs> Sorry, same thing. <laughs> this is like the, a night to remember the Titanic. When you opened the door, what did you find? First when I got there, his poor mom looked so stressed out. Of course. And it looked like she was holding a little, like, like a lightning bolt in her hand. It was oh. the butter knife that was bent oh. from trying to get to Jimmy in the oh. door. And the door, that the jam of the door woman. was all scratched up from her for like an hour or two trying to get into this bedroom. And him just standing out there in the typical mic, like, right. sorry, I'm was sorry. He, was he red with embarrassment? Uh, not really. No, <laughs> no. He, it didn't affect him in that way. Not at all. <laughs> no, not really. But but his poor mom, she she looked she looked pretty tired. She looked pretty tired. And it was it was about it was about twelve thirty, twelve forty. I'm sitting at home in my pajamas, oh my watching TV. God. And he calls me, and I just you know it's Mikey. I make sure everything's okay. What's going on, Craig? I need your help. Oh. Like, what? <laughs> With what? He goes. I'm locked out of my room. I'm like out of your house. The same thing you asked. Out of your house? No, my bedroom. Can you come and help me? I'm like I'll, I'll be there tomorrow morning yeah. like, you know, he's like no, i need to get in there now. did you have a separate did you explain a cat was dying uh i don't think that came into play until after we got to the house i, I don't think he used that as the uh mike mike what ha- so you have a separate key to your bedroom yeah so it's I, like your own little apartment i loved it because i lost it. he was in the room by mistake but I when your mother asked to get in there to clean your plates and then take your life now this is another house we lived in this is another place. <laughs> but you still have the same setup no much different i like this house now the lifestyle was the same. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what I mean. The curtains are a different color, but the lifestyle was the same. The mouse didn't get a reprieve or anything. And he, he just had to, I had to be there that night. 
And we lived about, I mean, even though it's Staten Island, it's, it's little, there's no direct route, highway. <laughs> it's a 20-minute ride each way, There's you know? a bunch of turns and stuff. Yeah, traffic lights, eight, nine miles. Toad Hill Road gets involved. It, it's, uh, yeah, but it was, it was a 20-minute ride. So I got to like 1.30 in the morning and... And his poor mother just looked like. And you just kicked the door in. No, well, no, they were trying that too. They they hit it. This this old uh, this How did old you house. Uh, I picked the lock. You picked the lock. And, yeah, it no, took no, me no, like. She used to use my head as a battering ram. She's throwing it. Well, you, well, that would have worked completely. I yeah. think. You look at your head. She said that she goes that head's going to be a battering ram if you don't get if hit. If your much head much. was on one of the nine eleven flights, nothing would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Mike, any rebuttal to Craig's story? It sounds like he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. He's not lying. <laughs> Are you embarrassed by the story at all? No. Why? It just happened. You should be. I'm not. I don't get too embarrassed. So now, well, yeah, as as a potential quarter, <laughs> as a potential <laughs> girlfriend, a potential if you heard quarter. this uh, from Mike, would you be turned off sexually? Um, you can say I know because. Sue's good part. I love. She's very honest, which I love. Nope. <laughs> In Dorchester, and you heard that story. What would you do? Yeah, in Dorchester now I'm much softer, but in Dorchester I wouldn't have any fucking time for that. You would have let you would have let him. Have. No, when I go on a date, I even now I still look at the guy and think, can I take him in a fight? Ah! <laughs> and if well, I you can't, can, I don't think you can take Mike in a no, fight. No, she I can. Think I could. Sue can kick my butt. In. See, but I let it to wrestle. Like, that's not true. <laughs> I think I could. Well, that's a fight. I think I could set up for some money. No, <laughs> <laughs> you and Dan, I don't think so. What about no, Craig? Yeah, yeah but Craig. Craig. Craig will be the ref. No, but I there was somebody, <laughs> somebody who wanted to promote me and then was out for blood to try to get us started. Who's going to go to that? No one's going to go to that. Nobody no. cares. That some, would be sad some, to like really up, promote it and be like, nobody Promote we know to, to try to get me riled up and then, but it just isn't working. The world doesn't, doesn't want that anymore, Mike. They they don't want, want I mean, the world they want is a nice very, things. very, as a matter of fact, this is a good uh, segue into a current event story. This is how much the world wants love, and I want everybody's opinion on this. This, to me, is the stupidest yet funniest thing I've ever heard. Starbucks wants employees to start, to start conversations about race with their customers. Oh <laughs> Could God. you imagine instigating a racial... Uh, I mean, who knows who you're talking to? <laughs> Anything could happen. Like, you see a guy walk in and go, oh, yeah, here's your Michiana. I know you're in a rush, but uh, what do you think of the, uh, the racial situation? I mean, <laughs> anything could happen. The guy could, you know... Get violent. I hear you're in a rush, but we're on black people time. <laughs> or <laughs> that's some white people shit right there. Well, okay. or, or there could BBT. be reverse racism. Any type of racism so, could come out of the guy's mouth, and then, you know, you start a fight. All right, as an employee, if I came and ordered a cup of coffee, how would you start a conversation with me about race? How could you try I wouldn't. Uh, Sue, would you, would you? I would ask you my first question if they told me that would be, do you have to wear sunblock? Do, do, I, I, I'm walking in, Sue. Uh, um, well, excuse me, Miss. I would like uh, a large, or well, a grande, regular coffee, two sugars. I said, "Well, that's brewing." I have this question that's been burning inside of me since I left Dorchester. Mm -hmm. Do you have to wear sunblock? I would not like that coffee anymore. No, no. <laughs> would you be offended? By, what about this? What about if Sue said I'd like a grande black cock? <laughs> I mean coffee. I mean coffee. Um, what I'll if a guy said, coffee. I mean cock, I mean pussy. <laughs> I like a grande black cock, I mean pussy. Mike, what would you say if I'm walking in and you had to make conversation? What is, yeah, exactly. your what, is, what is the intelligent... You're a, say hey, say I, you're a barista. Okay. Say in, I, in heaven. I'm a walk in. I got, got motor in life. Say in heaven you're a barista. <laughs> I'm a walk in and I'm a order. Uh, excuse me, uh, sir. I would like a, a latte, a chai latte, uh, no sugar, cream, of course. And Mike, what do you okay, say? Okay, uh, that'll be eight ninety five. dollars Here's your ticket. They'll call your name. You, you didn't bring a race at all. Mike. What's no? I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say Mike, anything. You have to. You're going to lose right. your job. Okay. Uh, <laughs> did you ever. Did you ever who's your favorite Nick? <laughs> Whoa, what do you mean by Nick? No, you say how big you Did he dick? say Nick? <laughs> why would you say any word that starts with that I? I I'm, a, I'm very uncomfortable, sir. I, I don't why, want to lie to you. Why do you say any word New that starts Nick. with that I? The Nick, the Nick, the Nick. Well, you know. That sounds Why, cool why do I like basketball? Because I'm black? <laughs> huh? I love yeah, lacrosse. That's true. I love that's fucking true. lacrosse. Everything's wrong with that question. I don't know. It sounds kind of like you're starting to say nigger. And, <laughs> and it's a black guy, so he must like basketball. Uganda. What about, what about Polly? I don't. I don't. I hate Paulo. I don't want to get. What, what, if he said, what if he said Nick to Paulo? Well, I don't know. What, oh, Nick would have a punchy fight with me. It's still a <laughs> punchy fight. A punchy. I like Australian they, football. What do you think about make that? Make up a better question. Uh, Australian football. Well, I love Australian football. So far, uh, Sue's question and yours are both horribly offensive. Okay, I'm walking in. One more shot. Okay. I'm walking in. 
Oh shit! Today I would like a frappe, uh, a frappuccino uh, grande, uh, uh, extra sugar. I, I like my sugar and a uh, cream. So I'm like, you, you better get a nappe. Are you gonna pay for that with what your welfare check? What about a nappe <laughs> frappuccino? Oh, what did you say? <laughs> Are you gonna pay for that with your welfare check? Oh uh, no. Jesus! Is that gonna be on uh, your food stamps? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a card now. How else? How else? What kind of question could you say that That's wouldn't terrible. be offensive? There's what do you, no what do you got, Mike? I'm walking. I want my frap. What do you say to me? Uh, do you ever meet Lou Alcinda? <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> First good. of all, it's an ancient, it's a I'm pretty pretty out of date question. I actually like the question. <laughs> do you know who Lou Alcinda is? Who? No, I have no idea. That's Kareem, Kareem Abdul Jabbar's yeah. yes. real name. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he changed it. Changed it in 1966. Yeah. So Mike is really like, oh, you're you're not balls. current. You're not you're, another you're, basketball. You're, you're asking out of date racist <laughs> questions. <laughs> you fit right in. Mike, you're perfect Mike. for the job. You're hired. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, what did you feel about the movie Glory? Huh? The movie Glory. Glory. It was good. I mean, uh. <laughs> Where are you going with this? I just want a, no, I want a frappuccino. No, no, no. Man, you, first of all, it should have The movie's 25 yeah. years old. Oh, no, but it should have made Matthew light Broderick. it up a long time. I never I mean, knew those guys existed until that movie came out. Denzel that's Washington did a good job, but why are you asking me these questions? Denzel I want a fucking Washington frappuccino. Denzel Washington won the Oscar, yeah, but that's the thing. Most people... Because <laughs> you're black, sir. That's the, <laughs> that's the <laughs> problem. <laughs> that's the problem with this whole fucking thing. I know. Chris just hit on it. There's no context. People don't want to talk about anything. Let's, they want their fucking frappuccino. You know, know. something? I think Greg is ballsy. I, I mean, Greg is ballsy. Let's ask Craig. I'm walking in, Craig. All right. Fuck it. Yo, what's up? Um... Yo, you see, you seem cool as shit, so I'm going to talk to you a little right, different. Okay, yo, okay. what up, uh, yo, what up, my man? Uh, let me get coffee, man. Medium, motherfucker. That's cool. Because yeah, he, he, I feel like he, he, he he's on some shit most of the time. Uh, so, uh, uh, coffee, medium and shit, cream. All right. Yeah, that's it, man. I guess you want a dark roast, right? Is that what you're looking for? You know? I don't know why you just said that. You know something? I, I guess don't your want theory your fucking of being cool is wrong. <laughs> I think that went out the window. What could you say that was... Pro co There's no way to say anything I thought you wanted me to be racist. I think Flippin' got some. I feel like Flippin' got... Flippin', what would you please say, Flippin'? say this. I don't even know how to say it. You gotta bring up race well, casually. I, let me see. Okay. I come in. Uh, James, um, uh, well, dude, yeah, let me get a medium coffee. No ice. Ice coffee. Oh, okay. Fucking, yeah, ice coffee, fucking. A little bit of sugar. All right. Um, I, I was going to ask you your name, but instead I'll just write on the cup, hashtag Black Lives Matter. <laughs> hey, you know, my cup. Black Lives yeah. Matter. Yeah, There's no ask, way I'm coming in yeah, there. I like, I, I got to ask me. I, Actually, I, 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 go, let me go. go let's go. Let's go. Yeah, no, okay. Um, uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, I would like to get a large medium, a, lar a, a large I coffee. can't breathe. <laughs> 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 Hands up, don't shoot. <laughs> I sir, can't I breathe. Like <laughs> There's no way Motherfucker! There's no way There's no of way asking a fucking... It. Hold on, I can be it's the black... It's a dumb ridiculous. policy. We're proving it. There's no way. <laughs> I can be the black guy. Young yeah, why don't you do it, in, do it Why don't you do it in reverse? Yeah, or why don't you order from... Technically, I would okay, have to do okay, the shit I'll too. be the white barista. You'll be the white barista? No, no, I'll be uh, the white you're customer. customer. You're the white customer? Mm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a uh, 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 venti caramel micchiata with skim milk, an extra shot of espresso, and a large black coffee with enough room for cream. <laughs> and I'll take a uh, winter nut Christmas cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, your total will be $15, but uh, wh why don't your grandparents like me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because you were asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> why, was, has my grandfather been in here? <laughs> See, I'm so politically correct, I right. would think they specifically don't like you for something. Like, I, I mean, who because you him? stole his car. <laughs> no, I do have a car. The point is, the point there's is. There's no way of getting into this that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's dumb. Crip? Starbucks is asking for trouble. It's dumb, it's dumb, it's dumb. A lot of extra training that leads to nothing good. You should talk to my dad. Screw my grandfather. <laughs> Talk to my kid. It's not that right. It's not that far away. Why doesn't your kid like me? Because he's my kid. What can I do to make I you get the black me? coffee? Dude, this That's fucking... like inciting trouble. I don't. Yeah. Even no. Did you ever hear that ass joke? Ass you ever hear that old joke? Um, where um, uh, 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 a black guy. Um, uh, what is it? A black. There's an Asian bartender, right? A Chinese bartender and a black guy. Uh, and, 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 oh no, it's a black bartender. Okay, I'm trying to get this right. A Chinese guy walks in 
and says to the black bartender, get me a jigger, nigger. Mm. And the bartender goes, how dare you? That's the most racist thing I've ever heard. The Chinese guy says, what's the matter? He goes, what if I did that to you? What if I did something like that to you? I walked in, he got, and the Chinese guy goes, I wouldn't care. He goes, really? Okay, let's see what happens. You come in, I'll go behind the bar, you come in and we'll see what happens. So the Chinese guy go, goes behind the bar and the black guy walks in and says to the Chinese bartender, give me a drink, chink. And the Chinese guy goes, we don't serve niggers. <laughs> <laughs> I've never a, heard the joke. That was one of my favorite uh, offensive jokes. For obvious reasons, I've never, you know what I would ask? I would say, can you tell me the well, joke Well, you know why? Because before you, before you tell that joke, we look behind us to make sure you're not sure. Right. That, that's a joke told amongst almost every white guy knows that joke. I've you never heard that joke. I've never heard that joke. I'm you're from, from Dorchester. I'm from Dorchester and I never heard that How about this joke. one? A priest and a rabbi are walking down the street and they see a 10-year-old boy. And the priest says to the rabbi, you want to fuck him? And the rabbi goes, out of what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, and now, Mike, what's the weather like in Los Cabanos? <laughs> Mike, let's, end, Mike. let's end with a weather report. back with Bichetti with the weather. I think we've got as offensive as you can get. Let's, let's end with a chaps weather report. Okay. Oh, the weather. I don't think you need a map. Uh, uh, it's, right now, we, in the uh, hills of Sicily, it's... Uh, the, it's the it's the uh, owl, annual owl festival. It's 95 degrees, and uh, the mayor just uh, the, the annual what you're looking at the a annual commercial. owl festival. You're it's, looking it's, at it's, an e-trade commercial. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Sweden. Uh, his name is John from Sweden. How did you say his name? Tell us the Johan. Johan. I love it. Johan. Johan. Tell us what the weather Johan? in Pittsburgh, Mike. Just right now in Pittsburgh, it's about 55 degrees. Where's Possible the weather stuff, Danny? Where, where's the sheet? Is oh, it's right here. I still got... I, well, use it! Okay, dick. sorry. Pick a city, uh, dickweed! Okay, Wauketusa, Wisconsin. Yeah, go ahead. I think that's it, right? He's it, got it. Uh, Wauketusa, Wisconsin. And today, it's high at 44 degrees. Tonight, it'll be low 35. Tomorrow, 60 degrees and partially cloudy. Crowdy? Crowdy? Crowdy. 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 What are you going to be there? <laughs> Crowdy. <laughs> Crowdy. <laughs> All right, well, how about uh, Mexican Water, Arizona? That's, oh, nice. That's really the name of the town. Mexican uh, Water, let's end with this one. Mexican Water, Arizona. Mikey, your thoughts? Okay, right now in Mexican Water, Arizona, it's cloudy. High 63 degrees right now. Tomorrow, it's going to be high at 74. Tomorrow, with a chance of rain, it's 79 degrees. All right, Mike, give the plugs for yourself. How about oh, no. a hand okay. for Mike? Woo! That was Whether, great. And this will return. We'll yeah, try to do this maybe once every few weeks. This is fun. Okay, cool. It's fun. Two hours of weather. <laughs> I actually, uh, this Saturday I'm going to be at the Greenwich Village Comedy Club. I'm hosting. I never host anything. That's really. great. Right. Well, you know, when you have a virus, you're a great host. Oh, God. Then uh, next, uh, the 29th, I'll be at the um, Comedy Club in, uh, what do you call it, in Jersey. Uh, what part of Jersey is that? I don't know. Look, all my Facebook is on there. Comedy Cove. Comedy Cove in New Jersey. And then the 29th. And then catch me on an episode oh, of Louis. Oh, where? And Saturday? Uh, Saturday the 29th. And when you are, you're at the Comedy Cove. Yeah. And where are you, when are you at Greenwich Village? Uh, this Saturday. And when are you on Louis? Uh, Louis, I think it's April 9th is the first episode. Art. Also, I've been writing now for the Intero Bank. Let's move on. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Comedy Cove no, in Springfield, I'm, by I'm the way. I'm sorry, Comedy Cove in Springfield. Scotty Steakhouse. Yeah, Scotty yes. Steakhouse. Okay, uh, go ahead. Well, I've, I've been there before. Great club. Great steak. I got an article. I did. What about you, Aerobank? Yeah, for about. you guys, I did uh, an article, and I did another one. I called the Bochetti Files. Nice. I just interviewed, uh, what do you call it? So uh, explain what Interobank is, though. It's like a website. I think it's Ron and Fez's site. They didn't do all comics. What and they gave me my own column. You don't know what you're writing no, I think for? It's their, you know, it it's is their site. site, right? It is them, yeah. Well, just say I think. No, it is. They're nice guys. And yeah, I, you wrote a very nice article wrote, about I, me and the show. You're very nice. I wrote one for Dave Hill. Actually, I wrote one for uh, Alex Sultan from The Family Guy. Did an interview with me. That should be on soon. And I'm interviewing Colin. He's going to let me interview him. Oh, it's going to be a blast. I can't wait to hear yeah, that. I'm, I'm excited. I can't, I can't wait to read that. Okay, the great Mike Pichetti. He'll be back. How about a hand? Mike Pichetti. Thank you, guys. Yay. Oh, Plugs, my Twitter. My Twitter, at Sue Costello, and my Instagram, I am Sue Costello. And also, SueCostello.com has all my dates. I'm blowing it up. Yeah, she's summer. amazing. Go check her out. Always funny. I love Sue. Craig, real quick, I'm going to repeat. Any plugs you have? Sure. Uh, yeah, the, tonight on Staten Island at the Arts Center. Uh, next week in Fairfield, uh, New Jersey, some Shriners Club <laughs> open to the public. Craig is a real comic, man. He's a comics comic, and he's great. And uh, go check him out. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Com comedian Craig L. Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all that. Mr. Chris Cott. At Cotton215, Facebook, Twitter, everything, YouTube, all that good shit. All right. Um, uh, 
Center City Comedy Podcast. Center City Why Comedy does the volume down. get higher at a certain point? Because I always voice. lean up. I always lean in. I'm like, okay. Okay. okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what else? Oh, what yeah. I can't do a fire. I can't do a fire with Twitter. Cause I, go, I, go, fa- I go sexy Facebook with that. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to let every friend I have here that they're going to be like, this <laughs> now, now we're getting it started. Now we're getting it started. I can't do a fire out the way. <laughs> Play that guy. Play that guy from yesterday. <laughs> Here's Chris's plugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, I'm gonna get, get the and, and, uh, and also uh, the MS benefit. Uh, you know, at hey, I will Helium be there. April Club. 11th. I will be doing stand up with Chris. Is it going up on your website? Is it, so that way, I'll tell, you, tell I'll Dan. I'll tell Dan. Yeah, tell. All right, it'll be up on his website soon. Hopefully, it will be. But you gotta tell Dan. I don't do that. Don't care, my man. We are. Wait, wait. This is live at motherfucking five. Oh, you push. Hang on. I want to set this up. These are Chris's plugs. April 11th. All right. <laughs> we don't come to we live at motherfucking fire. Oh, you pussy ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, Remy, man, I don't even sweat that fuck shit. Okay, man. Chris. Like I said, I bought it, them hoes, my nigga. Anything Gonna else? continue to buy it, these hoes when it comes to come out. That ain't shit. And you where ain't seen yourself right? fit that. I ain't lying, hit that bitch. This outrageous blue bitch. This specter stuff. <laughs> Are you whole ass nigga watching hey, nigga? What's your website? You motherfuckers, they grinding out. Center City Comedy. Grinding out. <laughs> How do we follow you on Instagram? Contact to a fire. By the world, bitch, call whatever the fuck you want, nigga. I'm going to get this goddamn money. I'm going to continue to get this goddamn money. Hey, shit, none of y'all can do about it, bitch. We live at five out here, nigga. Fuck, we're Texas, Florida, Ray, goddamn me. Florida Blade, nigga. Put that on the stand when I'm going through, bitch. Hot. Pain, champagne, baby. <laughs> champagne for my motherfucking pain, nigga. I do this shit. I Thank do this shit for real, nigga. Are oh, you puss ass, nigga? Wanna talk? Oh, you yeah, have more? I'm sorry. Shut your puss ass down, nigga. Well, shut you down right here, bitch. Yeah, nigga, live at motherfucking five. We do this Mike shit. Mike, uh, Chris has left his winter enclosure. <laughs> man, look at that yellow man. I'm tired of talking, nigga. Look at that motherfucking He's tired of talking. And that's where I'll be at this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, the same man was found when they, uh, when Craig opened up Mike's bedroom. They found, <laughs> they found this man raping a cat in the corner. And here's what he had to say. Do man. Get money. How you put that? Yo, you understand me? Yeah, look. Money. Money. It everything. It's the only motherfucker. thing. Remy, tell that fuck nigga. Same nigga. Hit you. <laughs> That was in Mike's bedroom in the corner. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he he's good. But he- <laughs> Live. Play that whole thing. Live at five. Yo, camera, okay, man. Five. Here we, we are. Come. We are. Live at motherfucking five. Oh, you pussy ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man, Remy, man. I don't even sweat that fuck shit, man. Like I said, I bought it, them hoes, my nigga. Gonna continue to bought it, these hoes. By the way, this is Greg Hardy's defense. You ain't seen your 750. I ain't lying, hit that bitch. This outrageous blue bitch. This speck the fly. Oh, you whole ass nigga watching a nigga. But you see these motherfuckers, they grinding out. Wait, stop, hey, stop. Lady, stop. Go, can you go back to the beginning? That is- can you go back to the beginning? Camera, man. I just want to set this up properly. Uh, Greg Hardy just signed with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, paid off a woman after beating the shit out of her, and the Cowboys gave him $11 million. Uh, he was asked to give a statement to the press about why uh, why he beat up his wife. And this is it. This is Greg Hardy, the newest Cowboy, Greg Hardy. Hey, we don't come to live at motherfucking five. Oh, you pussy ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, Remy, really, man, you, I don't even sweat that fuck shit, baby. Like I said, I bought it, them hoes, my nigga. Gonna continue to body these hoes when the color come out. That ain't shit. You ain't seen your 750. Greg I ain't lying, hit that bitch. This outrageous the blue, cowboy. bitch. Respect the fly. Oh, you hoe ass nigga. How Watch my nigga. Day? We you see these motherfuckers, they grinding out. They motherfuckers, these hoes grinding out. That is seven hundred dollars, bitch. Ain't gonna continue grinding, well, that's how much bitch. Molly World, bitch. Call whatever the fuck you want, nigga. I'm gonna get this goddamn the money. The newest Dallas Cowboys. Boy. Hey, shit, none of y'all can do about it, bitch. We that is a big boy. Fuck, we're Texas, Florida, Ray, goddamn me, Florida Blade, nigga. Put that on the stand when I'm going through, bitch. Hot. Pain, champagne, baby. Oh, that's champagne how you celebrate. Champagne my motherfucking pain, nigga. Champagne? I do this shit. I do this shit for real, nigga. No oh, you pussy ass nigga want to talk, grind, fuck, nigga. Shut your pussy ass down, nigga. Well, shut you down right here, bitch. Yeah, you are shut down, the end. Fire, we do this shit all day. And the press Every conference is how that's Man, look at that yellow man. <laughs> talking, nigga. Look at that yellow Actually, that's a good one. When I went into Starbucks, I, my barista, uh, I said to my barista, uh, you know, what do you think? I, I saw the article and I said to my barista, uh, thank you for my uh, Carmel Macchiata Grande. What do you think, uh, what do you think uh, about race relations? And my barista at Starbucks said this. We be on camera, man. 
We are. Don't come. We live at motherfucking five. Oh, you pussy ass. No, I'm not saying starting yeah, at Yeah, man, Remy, man, I don't even sweat that fuck shit, baby. Like I said, I bodied them hoes, my nigga. Gonna continue to body these hoes when it comes to I'll take a grind day. Shit. You ain't seen your 750. You're I ain't lying. Hit this bitch. This outrageous blue bitch. This spec the fly. Oh, you hoe ass nigga. Watch a nigga. I'll take you a vent day. They grinding out. They a vent day trying to like the upset. That is $700, bitch. Ain't gonna continue grinding, bitch. Molly World, bitch. I'm gonna get this goddamn money. I'm gonna continue to get this goddamn money. Hey, shit, none of y'all pay him yet? It, bitch. We live at five out here, nigga. How Don't much are the Christmas cookies? Blade, goddamn, me. <laughs> Bought a blade, nigga. What's that? You understand what I'm going through, bitch? Hot. Pain, champagne, baby. Can I champagne, get a coffee mug? Pain, nigga. I do this shit. I do this shit for real, nigga. Are you puss ass nigga want to talk? Do you Ryan, gift fuck, wrap nigga, the mugs? Pussy ass down, nigga. Well, shut you down. Right uh, here, quick bitch. question. Do you yeah, gift wrap the coffee mugs? <laughs> All day, every motherfucking day. Man, look at that yellow. Man, I'm tired of talking, man. I, <laughs> okay, can I just get a vente? Are you tired? <laughs> I think my barista left. Yellow, man. Oh. That is beautiful. We're going to use that for a lot of uh, That's going to be our Starbucks barista. Uh, dude. That's our Starbucks barista. That's oh. barista Benny, we'll call him. I like him. I like him a lot. <laughs> I like him a lot. Like so congratulations to Dallas Cowboys for uh, signing a, a fucking... A guy who beat the shit out of a woman. Go Cowboys. Go NFL. I'm so glad NFL, you hypocrite. Well, I do not follow Fucking douchebags. Go ahead. I don't know. And ban uh, me from ESPN, but make sure you interview Greg Hardy. He hit. A, he hit. A, I don't. That part. Mike, I like please, that please, please. Sorry. I'm making a point. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. I, I'm not a part You're about not it. helping at all. <laughs> like, like. I just want to. Please shut up. Like Ray Rice. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> make sure. ESPN, I know I'm not allowed on ESPN because I tweeted that uh, uh, Carrie Champion's sexy. I know, so of course I'm not allowed. But okay. make sure you interview Greg Hardy just as soon as you fucking can on first take. Make sure you get him right on there, Carrie Champion, because I'm sure he wouldn't beat you up. I'm sure you'd get a pass. I'm sure you'd get a pass, Carrie, and everybody at first take. Artie Lang's a devil. I've never touched a woman. Unless it was for sexual healing. <laughs> but this woman needs real healing. You know why? Because he beat the shit out of her. Make sure you have him on Sports Center, first take, blah, blah, blah. And I'll sit at home, banned. Because I, I didn't I didn't pay off abroad after beating the living fuck out of her. Unbelievable. The woman was bruised. I didn't she had a bruised collarbone, a neck bone. Terrible. But she had your thoughts. He's a fucking. Huh. How did how does that let's happen? I did sign this. Guy, just, no, no, they, no one understands. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not him, by the way. Oh, that's, that's not, not him. I don't know who it was. It's <laughs> a joke. <laughs> that guy probably treats women beautifully. Live motherfucker, I've been getting the car. That's not Greg Hardy. <laughs> I thought that was him. I was <laughs> making a joke, Mike. <laughs> It's a comedy pop. No, but I thought that was him. I don't <laughs> show it You whole ass, I, ass. I try to make I try to make social commentary when I can, but ultimately it, we're just having. Fun. You may, maybe believe that was him. I have no idea. Mike, what <laughs> don't you believe? You believe that chick really hit on you? <laughs> I chick believe was my match an Arizona on nine. That. She's not hitting on you. She's I not hitting not. on me either. Well, magic happens. You sound retarded. Love it, motherfucker. Fire. <laughs> magic does not happen, Mike. It doesn't. I happen. believe in love. Not magic forget, well, why hasn't why hasn't it fucking touched you? Why hasn't the love bolt of lightning struck you? I've been going for the wrong you people. Yet? You haven't gone for any people. <laughs> <laughs> what the wrong person? The Peruvian wrong whore. No, the no. Peruvian whore who talked like Kathleen Turner after <laughs> the <laughs> My t yeah, but the I Peruvian horror talk like Jimmy the Greek after he just got up. <laughs> Hi. Hi, honey. Hi, Mike. It's me. I'm your Peruvian whore. No, but she's really hot. I, I, uh, you want to get in a punch him up fight? I didn't call a plumber. Do you have any chap suits? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Sue. Chaps uh, sports coats. <laughs> Do you have any chap sports coats, Mike? <laughs> they're, they're, they're made in Europe by Barney. They are. They're they're not, the Barney who? Barney Rubble. <laughs> <laughs> they're not made by Barneys. God, you are repulsively suck. You're a sucker. You're a sucker. Why do you fall for this shit? Craig, tell him what time it is, man. It's 1987. <laughs> That's half the problem right there. He still thinks it's yeah. 1987. Yeah, he goes to a, a barbershop and says, I want a haircut like the guy who shot himself in the head in Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> oh, Can you yeah. do that? 
Can you do that? I want to look like the guy who sat on the shitter. Pile. Killed a, killed his sergeant, then shot himself in the head. Can I get that haircut? Pile. Because that's what they're going for on MTV these days. I, I love that movie. He, Great movie. Clearly you did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, Chicago Dan Filato, thank you so much. Flip, you want to uh, plug anything, Flip, real quick? Just flippingoutradio.com for my podcast. Flippingoutradio.com Flip out. for the podcast. Yeah. Podcast I've been on before. I hope to, to be on again. Andy got a La, haircut and he looks handsome. Five, yeah, five, Flip five. looks good. Keith Hernandez shirt. Don't understand it. <laughs> it's got remnants of Coke all over it. <laughs> uh, and uh, tell your friends we're having fun here at Artie Quitter. Tell your friends about artiequitter.com. And uh, tomorrow night, the big show, I'll be at the Mahaffey Theater. Somebody tweeted me a picture of the Mahaffey Theater. I've played there before. I remember it's on water. It's a beautiful place. 